please take the time to visit podsurvey.com slash peasants to complete a short 21 question survey. Participants in the survey will be entered into a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. The survey can be taken multiple times, so feel free to visit back each month for your chance to enter the drawing. Please help to support the show by using our Amazon links located in the description anytime you purchase anything from Amazon. It's a great way to support the show while just going about your normal business shopping on Amazon.com. Also, check out our storefront for Drunken Peasants recommended merchandise. Patreon pledges of $5 or more will now receive two private shows each month. In addition to the private shows, Patreon pledges of $10 or more will receive the Drunken Peasants post show after each episode of the Drunken Peasants, Ben and Billy's monthly shitty movie review, and regular behind-the-scenes vlogs with Ben and Billy. Sign up anytime to catch the future shows as well as past content. If you want to catch the post shows but you're not a patron, click the join link below this video to become a member of the Drunken Peasants channel. In addition to each post show, you'll also get special badges and emojis that you can use in the Drunken Peasants live chat. Streamlabs will be open for the duration of each episode. Click the link below to send us a message. Donations $20 and above will be read out through text-to-speech and will require our immediate attention. All donations below $20 will be read at the end of each segment. Keep an eye out for our weekly Streamlabs goal, which if we meet, we will do an extra show the following week. If you find any content you'd like to see us cover on the show, send it to drunkenpeasantsinbox at gmail.com. All submissions will be reviewed for possible usage in a future episode. Click the Discord link in our description to join the Drunken Peasants Discord. Interact with other Drunken Peasants fans in text and voice chat, as well as the peasants themselves. Visit the Google Play Store and download the Drunken Peasants app to catch the audio version of the show while you're on the road. In addition to the app, the audio-only version of the show is also available through iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, SoundCloud, and other audio platforms. That's all we have for now. Enjoy the show. Podcast episode 507. Suck it! And uh, currently we're joined by Animancer, and it, it looks like Steve might be in the call now, too. Oh, snap. I'm in yeah, the, he, he said he was in here. Cool, cool. It is, am I not in the call? No, you are. No, definitely. you are. I can see you. You're here. You we're can't gonna... hear me. You can't hear me. Yeah, we, yes, we, got you. we I, can I, hear we're you. We're gonna load Steven you in here. some fight. Oh, so are you able to hear us? Uh, I can. It was just three of you were talking at once. <laughs> oh, I see. Hearing yes under tape over his camera. <laughs> I see. Oh my god! I was like, okay, I guess I'll do that too, and I completely forgot I did that. So I've literally been sitting here with this piece of tape over my camera. It's it, you know what? It's all right because we weren't live until literally just now. Like after you took the piece of tape off. So uh, that was so dumb. Yeah, that was incredibly dumb. Are we live now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should be now. Oh snap! We should be. It's good episode though. We're yeah, really yeah, live. it's going good so far. You want to pull uh, my screen up too? Oh, I'm yeah, yeah. The episode of Black Mirror. This episode's just fine. Don't and I'm gonna have to that. share everything again. Make sure I do. This that. is an episode of Fat Mirror. Fat mirror, fat mirror. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, XSplit died on us, so we are just getting everything set up again. So, uh, did did you go on tour with Andrew Rivers? 
Oh, uh, Dad. You yeah. guys know Andrew? Yeah, we've had him on a few times. He's actually been here in, in person with us in before. In the studio. Oh, nice. Yeah, Andrew is a buddy. He's actually... Uh, uh, we're gonna hit the road again uh, tomorrow morning. We're going. Uh, we're doing shows in Glendale, Arizona. Nice, awesome. I know. Don't get, don't get jealous. <laughs> are you guys? Uh, yeah, you guys are up in Seattle, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he's a Seattle dude. Um, yeah, Andrew's my buddy. Um, he'll actually be. He'll be back here in a second. Yeah, I think he just came in. I just heard him. Oh, is he there? Uh, or, well, someone is in my house. <laughs> are you being kidnapped and, and, or home invasion? And, and was that him that had the piece of tape over his webcam? No, no, no. Oh. It was not. It was not. <laughs> Shit. Dude, I hope you find out who it is, man. I, I wouldn't want someone I didn't even know in my house, dude. Yeah, um, no, let's just assume for my sanity that it's Andrew that just came in. And if it's not, then, well, I guess uh, I'll, I'll be first in the Deadpool. We're going to cross our fingers that it's Andrew and not a mass murderer. <laughs> I happen to know Andrew doesn't care if there's tape covering his webcam or not because he often just leaves his webcam on with his junk hanging out. He does. Yeah, like I'll, it'll be like he'll DM me For like really? live video feeds of his junk. It's very weird. You're making. Yeah, that, that is. Uh, we're close friends, and thankfully we do not have that type of friendship. Yeah. So uh, I don't even think we're friends. Like it's an enemy thing. He just does it because he knows he's bigger than me. It pisses me fair. off. Oh, well, that's why he doesn't do it to me. <laughs> like a rival, right? Yeah, no. yeah, he's a sweet boy. No, uh, I, I actually haven't seen so Andrew's penis. We got kind of thrown off track with the with the stream dying and everything, but now that we're back, we did have we did have a few really quick announcements that we wanted to make to the fans out there. Really quick, uh, some people have expressed concern with uh, Patreon, and uh, some people have left uh, due to Patreon banning other users. And requested that we create a subscribe star account so that they can continue to support us without having to give money to Patreon. So here it is. It's also linked in the description. Uh, we already have four subscribers. That's so great. We yeah. Wait, can, I, can I? Can you fill me in on that? What did? What's what's going on with Patreon? Uh, Patreon banned some people. Um, some people we've had on the show before. Uh, like Sargon of Akkad, yeah. Yannopoulos. Like like, like yeah, like right leaning people. You know. Um and. <laughs> And, and some of our fans say, we still want to support you, but we disagree with this. So if you go somewhere else, we'll, we'll support you there. So we're giving them an option, you know? Yeah, and the perks are exactly the same. Like, they have Discord integration and everything. It all works the same. So you guys can sign up there, and it's exactly the same experience for your, your money. So. Yeah, send us your evil MAGA cash. Wait. Oh, and people are complaining about the delay. You know what? I always try to set it to the shorter delay, but YouTube by default sets it to 30 second delay. And yes, it is terrible. And I forgot to change it this time. Yes. So that's, that's, that's the thing guys. And if you want any other uh, reasons to suffer tonight, um, I have had yeah, Chipotle I'm for lunch. Show, so they're going to hate that too. So. <laughs> yeah, we got Steve here. Maybe, so. <laughs> maybe it'll go over smoother this time. I know it will. I, I, yeah, I guarantee when it comes up second time. It goes a lot more. Smooth it's like Empire time. Strikes Back, you I'm, know, I'm, the show like, yeah. you know, I, don't, I know I'm not for everybody. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm giving a funny back guarantee tonight. If you don't like Steve, you get your funny back. That's How does good. that work? I don't know. But, like, if you don't laugh, then you you don't have to fuck off. OK. It's okay. Yeah. They'll laugh when we torture Billy later on in the show. That'll be amazing. Is that this uh, episode? A friend of mine, so a friend of mine used to um, produce a show at a bar by UCLA, and he would always do this thing where he'd be like, you know, come in. It, it was free. He would just, you know, get people to come in. And it was a great show, awesome comics, and he would always be like, hey, come on in. If you don't laugh, I'll buy you a drink. And so everybody would come in, and then they would have a good time. It was like the best comics in LA would do that show. And then there was this one guy who came in, and he was just doing everything he could to not laugh. <laughs> he just thought it was it was so important to just get that one free drink that like, and you could see him. You know when like someone really trying not to laugh, like just that fucking face contortion, just kind yeah. of thing. And I'm just, how how shitty, like how shitty of a person are you? Just fucking enjoy yourself. If you don't take the drink, if you do, then don't be. You still have to. You have to give me that drink. I, I swear, I, I went two hours with not enjoying myself. Like, that's it's kind of worth the drink. Just. Get him a cement <laughs> mixer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. What a dick. Um, but it was great because then he went through all that and, like, probably 40 minutes in, he left. So we're like, ah. <laughs> so, so yeah. guess, Steve, guess what we're doing pretty soon here? Uh, 
we do we do monthly Patreon private shows, and we're doing one in two days. And we're gonna we're gonna do a competition where we compete in in some different video games. And at the end of each round, whoever lost is gonna get shocked by wearing one of those electro dog shock collars. Holy and, shit, that's a real competition. Yeah, yeah, and it sucks because Ben picks games that he's been playing for twenty years and is really we good can at. Get, we haven't even we ha we haven't even selected all the games. B ben does this all the time in competitions. He's like, "Hey, we should do a drinking game." I'm an alcoholic. I'm like, I quit drinking. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Just pick, picking things that he's skilled at. That's well. That's the thing. Like you should always when you do something like that, the person who picks. It, it, it like it's uh, it, it was it was one of the, one of those things I used to do like a dollar bet on an inconsequential sporting event with a friend of mine. Yeah, and it was one of the things where it was like, okay, whoever picked the sporting event, the other person got to pick the team first. Yeah, mm. so, yeah, it would be like we we would pick like you know like D three women's volleyball, <laughs> and then like a dollar on the teams. So like you know, and that's how that's how to make it fair. You ever do the it with like triple A baseball or anything like that? Oh, oh, AAA baseball would have been way too easy to research. We had to, uh -oh. we tried to do this with a sport like that there wasn't anything online about, so you couldn't even see who was really favored. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. We did it, you know, once a week, and it makes you actually give a shit about a game you would not care about otherwise. No offense to any D3 women's volleyball players that I'm sure are among your fans. You know, I know you have huge, yeah, huge contingent among hot 20 year old women yeah oh yeah come they're on here. dude you just don't know the fan base well enough man they, I, they love volleyball competitions go yeah, go wildcats <laughs> so billy how how much of tonight's goal will we have to make for you to zap yourself i don't know how much i was zapping my i, I zapped myself i was drinking yeah i haven't been drinking i why, why am i gonna why, why are you sacrificing me to the zapper I'm already gonna play your it's games. It's important that I'm you know how it feels games. before it's not you do important it. Important that I know how it feels. <laughs> I'm, I'm already gonna go head to like head when with you join the military. Your games when when uh when you join the military, they make you breathe in tear gas, so you're used to it. Yeah. So it's kind of the same idea. This isn't the military. It is. This is a fucking dog collar that I, I wore one You're of those. You're safer here than in the military. I wore one of those in high school when I was over at this girl's house to try to impress her. It didn't work then. It's not going to work now. So you don't want to know. I don't want to know. Hold on a second. Don't just gloss over that one. Yeah. You wore a shot collar yeah. to try to impress a girl. Yeah, because she had a big dog. And she was like, I bet you. I, she's like, my parents make my dog wear this. It probably hurts him. And I was like, I'll put it on. I'll. I'll show you what doesn't hurt the dog too bad. And then I put it on and I was like, all right, here we go. I was like, Ruff! and then it shocked me because it was voice activated and it hit, hit my neck and I, I immediately went, fuck. And then it hit me again. And I was like, shit, shit. And then it hit me again. And then I, I had to like hold my, my breath and not talk for it to stop shocking well, the me. The good news about these is you can scream as loud as you want. It's just. Uh, yeah, I know because there's a, there's a remote control and you, right. you think I trust you with that remote. No, no. I want you to do it. No, I do. At the end of the story, he's like, and that's how I met my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Making, making, making did, yourselves did you... do it is almost worse. Like, you'll be dreading hitting that button. It's oh, yeah. Just one did you, did did it impress the girl at all? Or was she just like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? No, um, I don't think, I, I think I was barking up the wrong tree because her friend liked me. And uh, then when I finally, like, broke it down to her, she was like, I can never do anything with you because da-da-da likes you. And then my friend liked her. But then I found out that my friend was closet gay and he only liked her because he knew she liked me and he didn't want me to go out with her. I was, I was, yep. it was a, it was a fucked up love triangle. I was, was so mad. There was a lot bad. of drama at Sweet Valley High. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, <laughs> I loved Archie comic books, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, except for the dog collar. I don't remember that one. Yeah, like if, if uh, Todd McFarlane wrote Archie, probably. <laughs> yeah. It would go to a dark place. Yeah, oh, yeah, all the time. And spawn. Yeah, I was like Jughead if the jug was full of moonshine and cigarette butts. Oh, yeah, basically. So I think uh, I think maybe we should move into the new segment. There's some interesting stuff today. Oh. Puking dog. And there have been people that did write in puking dog as a write-in candidate.
he's yeah he's gonna be our next president we we made a joke on here before the 2016 election that people should just write in puking dog and people actually did it they wrote in puking dog and it made the news there was like a news story about it somewhere uh, were those mail-in ballots or were those in person i think they might have been mail-in because if someone like waited in the line just to do that like that's I don't dedication know. yeah yeah, that's. I don't know if that's more impressive or less impressive. Well, get this, my my friend Jeff Jeff Holiday, he did. He went and voted for Trump. He doesn't even like Trump. He thought it would be funny. So, yeah, but he voted in a blue state, right? Right, but he still took the time to go vote for Trump. Yeah, just, I just love the idea of like, wouldn't it be hilarious to participate in the democratic process and pick one of the top two candidates? Right, guys. <laughs> oh, that's actually what. 120 million people are doing yeah so but i did it ironically right yeah right yeah i <laughs> voted for the winner ironically yeah so the fact the fact that he lives in oregon he always brings that up to me he's like yeah but you know hillary would have won in my state anyway so therefore yeah, they have michigan pennsylvania wisconsin too so, so if you're thinking about Right, uh, going to vote for the other person this election as a joke. Just skip that all together, <laughs> and and go do a France. All right, go do riot? a France. Yeah, go do a France. Go do a. Are riot. you advocating revolution right now? I'm Billy? advocating like, for fuck? people to do a France. If that's if, if you're gonna go right in fucking Donald Trump as a lull, just Wait, do a France. When you say when you say do a France, like, yeah. do you mean like civil unrest? Do you mean uh, shoot up a journalist's office? Do you mean no? Uh, I really participate in wars. I like, don't. There are a lot of things. I don't mean. mean any of those particularly. Just you know, do a friend. <laughs> I don't want to be held liable. It, it, it almost sounds like that's like a new dance craze. Like do do, do a, a France. France. Do yeah. a France. Yeah. And then do you a France. France. Yeah, it's just yeah, getting like fast. There's a hole see, in the wall. You see the clip oh. of the guy who was basically like. What are you gonna do? Tear gas me? And they were like, "Yeah, <laughs> Just tear gas them. It's great." Yeah, tear tear gas probably sucks. It, it sucks. It help. Yeah. If these shock collars don't kill us, should we do it? They're tear, not gonna kill should you. Should we do a tear gas? I uh, zapped myself on a hundred. It made my skin kind of numb, <sighs> and it, you know, it was shocking, but I was fine. It kind of made me laugh after it happened. Like fuck, because you, you survived. Know? Yeah, tear gas will. Even if you're near the person who gets gassed, or, or like like even Mace, like even if you're near oh, the yeah. person, like there was a clip I saw uh, the other day. It was uh, it was on Reddit where like basically some guy shoved a woman on a train and she just immediately just maced him, and like it was kind of funny to see this guy who was like all you know this big like puffed up dude just kind of cower from that. But then also I'm like, what about all the other people in the car, man? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah, also I was at a bar one time and two guys got into a fight and one of the other the other guy pulled out Mace and Mace the other guy and everyone's eyes were burning. Yeah, it carries so got got a good radius, yeah. good airborne radius. Do you, I've never heard of a dude carrying around Mace before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, everyone was like, "Oh my god, what a bitch!" But you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> No, they're probably like, oh my god, what a bitch, as they were crying their yeah. eyes out from the maze. It's like yeah. the moped rule, right? Like, you have a moped, you don't tell anybody you ride it, but you do. Because it's, it's a bitch bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, so I guess, like, no one knows unless they see you parking it. Yeah. So, like, no one knows you carry mace until you mace someone. Yeah. And then everybody at the bar is like, what What the hell? What? Yeah. Bitch got mace? What, are you riding here on a moped? So, did you guys hear about this, uh... Trump says he won't be impeached because there will be a revolt. If oh, he's so there you he's go. He's calling people to do a friend. Yeah. Do a friend. <laughs> so he is literally saying, like, if I get impeached, everyone please revolt. Uh, yeah. The, oh, wow. According to this, uh, the title of this video, let's see. 691 of the Trump administration. And tonight the president is speaking out about the growing legal, legal troubles now threatening his White House. Trump spoke to Reuters news agency late today in an interview right there in the Oval Office. He said he's not concerned about being impeached and he explained why quote it's hard to impeach somebody who hasn't done anything wrong and who's created the greatest economy in the history of our country i think that people <laughs> would revolt 
if that happens. Oh my God! Hasn't Trump said in the like in the past that the economy is going to get worse in the future and it's going to be long after he's president? So doesn't that imply that he's fucking shit up now? Like, come on, he's set well, shit for the country yeah, but, of this. But you can read, so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Shit, yeah. so I forgot about. That. Yeah, this is for people who can't read. <laughs> Trump also. Oh, I love that. I also, I also love the idea that like <clears throat> the economy being shitty in the first like year and a half Obama was president, like, like the 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 idea of like inheriting an economy, like people don't understand that like you inherit the economy from the president before. Yeah, you don't walk in like even if you buy a business, <clears throat> like let's just say you buy a hardware store. Like, the first day you run the hardware store, it doesn't suddenly turn a profit, even if you're really fucking good at running a hardware store. Yeah, like, and the, the the economy did under Obama, too, so he he really turned things around, if you really look at things. Well, I mean, the, the big production. market crash happened before Obama even, uh, before the election even happened. Yeah, 2008. That was right before, though, right? The housing crisis in 2008. Yeah. And he took office in uh, 2008, right? Right. Like yeah. January? Uh, he took, he, he, 2008. 2009, January 20th, 2009. Uh, January 2009. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And so he got in and the country was shit. It was just, it was basically like, uh, let's say you have a nice girlfriend and then somebody just destroys her in every single way and like a bukkake. <laughs> and then, and then you're like, I, I don't know if I can love you anymore. Like not, it's beyond you just cheating on me with like 50 dudes. It's you, you stink. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave you. And then somebody comes in and says, that's a human fucking being. Treat her with some respect and you fix her up and you make her nice. That's what Obama did to America. And then Trump came back in and was like, hold my beer. I'm going to fucking ruin this woman damn it I, I think that that is the <clears throat> most accessible way i've ever heard that explained <laughs> I, I, real, i'm surprised frankly i'm surprised that's not the lead story on msnbc <laughs> the, the story. Yeah. yeah it's funny man because when i came to office we thought that there would never be like a worse president than george w bush he had like so many people against him like so much like bad pr like and then yeah oh yeah Trump, it's crazy but then you, you look at what Bush did uh, with all the wars and stuff, and you have to weigh in what's worse. I, I don't feel like Trump has done... Well, this. he had way more time... 9-11. To do... What, what do you mean 9-11? No, no, I'm just fucking around. Just okay. 9-11. Yeah. All right. No, but uh, I, I feel like Trump is doing yeah. different things terribly. And uh, he, you, he, you can... You can you you can give Trump credit for like the the stock markets rising and everything because he's lifted all these limits he businesses have had under under the Obama administration, uh, the, the the environmental protection lifts. The and stock everything. market's been falling for days. Yeah, for days. But like the the big like climb, hundreds. the big climb was his because he he took he took all these limits off of fucking people and they were out here running rampant. And now it's falling because it was always. I think it's going already fell bubble. below where it was before when he came in. I think so. Damn. I'll have to double check that, but I I read something before that said that, but I could be incorrect. Damn it, Papa Spoke Trump. about the revelations about Russians and their efforts to work with people in his inner circle. Quoting Reuters again, asked about prosecutors' assertions that a number of people who had worked with him for him or had business dealings with Russians before and during his 2016 <clears throat> presidential campaign, Trump said... The stuff you're talking about is peanut stuff. He then brought up <laughs> peanut stuff. Oh my god! Which I I kind of agree with Trump uh, on this one. If like you suffer from peanut allergies, because it's very serious. <laughs> it's very serious yeah. business if you have peanut allergies. So yeah, peanut stuff. If you have peanut allergies, you fucking. Asshole. But he's saying it's not serious. Uh, well, that's what yeah, he's they, saying. They but cut off the quote. They cut off the quote. Yeah. The next part of the quote yeah. is, if sniffing a peanut can kill you. Yeah. I, I was on uh, an airplane flight, and I pre-boarded because of my morbid obesity, right? <laughs> but they had another girl pre-board because she Is had peanut allergies. Is this on your ticket? Yeah, Please yeah. Tell me it says yeah, that. It, it, said, it said uh, two seats, fatten around, uh, <laughs> put, them, put them in. <laughs> and, then, and then I got in, and there was another girl. She looked perfectly fine. She had a peanut allergy, and she got to pre-board, too. And I'm like, well, that's that's cool. I guess, you know, in case she's walking by and someone comes in with peanut breath. But then they didn't give anybody peanuts on the entire flight because of her. A lot of airlines have outright banned peanuts yeah. just to get rid of that risk yeah. completely. But also on, on that on that topic, have you ever seen when they're just like, OK, boarding first class and 30 people get up and you're like, 
there are six first class seats on this plane. Yeah. yeah. Like how how is this a thing? That's like, I think I think that's part of the problem that we have in this world right now is that like half the plane will get up when they're like, Oh, it's first class and meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the there's three, there's the always thing, that's like the peanut girl. Yeah. She didn't need to board early. Well, what she, she wants this extra time on the plane with the peanuts? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she if 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 she has a peanut allergy and she could die from sniffing a peanut, then I guess I feel bad for her. I don't know, but if she just lied about it to get pre-board, I, I, I'm I'm kind of proud of her. I How mean, much documentation do they make you show? I don't. That? I have no idea. I, I I didn't need documentation because I had everything on me. They'll be like, like oh, dude, he's huge. faking it. He's yeah, totally faking it. He's faking, it. fatting around. He must have an inflatable suit on. No, they let me go. I didn't have to prove anything with like a doctor's <laughs> note or anything. They they actually I actually didn't uh, ask for it. They were like, hey man. Uh, you're super fat, so we're gonna have you pre-board. What weight so do they, you need to be below? I don't know if it's a weight. I think it's before a width. they take it away. I think width. it's a width. I think they they look at you and they're like, "You're gonna be spilling." You know over those to the things that they you. that you can put your luggage in and, and to see if your luggage is too big. Yeah, they should have one for people. They should they should just have oh a fat God. cage, like a cage. Yeah, it's. I think it depends. Also, is it a DC ten? Is it a seven twenty seven? Like, what do you? <laughs> what, I think it's a ratio of person to plane. It's Operation Dumbo Drop. They just put me. <laughs> they put me in the fucking undercarriage with the animals and the luggage, and then drop me oh my out. My God. But, yeah, but it's good. You get to deplane first. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you do it with a parachute, but still. <laughs> Geronimo. Yeah, you get there. Uh, yeah, what do, what do they do to test the peanut allergy? You have to not eat a peanut. <laughs> they're like, would you like peanuts? And she's like, oh yeah. And then they're like, gotcha! <laughs> oh, damn it! My love for peanuts! This is the one lie I should have told. I have a not eating peanuts allergy. Yeah. <laughs> they have to, be... to not having peanuts. <laughs> they feed you peanuts the entire flight. <laughs> yeah. It's just one of the fucking uh, air air waitresses. What do they call the, what, the stewardess or whatever? Well, now they're called flight attendants. Yeah, flight attendant. That's the word. That that's the word that doesn't offend anybody. And then she starts just popping peanuts in your mouth the whole time. Like, help me! I need one more. Uh... Yeah, it's like it's like insulin, but yeah. just peanuts. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I could get like a, a flight attendant to just feed me grapes the entire time and fan me with a feather. Be a little heavier for that. True. Or uh, you just need to be like a diamond member. Oh yeah. Let me get that, that diamond got, that status. I used yeah, to be. I used to be so fat that like I would only fly first class, <laughs> but that got really expensive. Yeah, so, yeah. So then I started buying two seats. And then uh, MTV flew me down to L.A. for a show, and they didn't get me two seats. I was like, look, I need two seats. I'm super fat. And I had to go and coach on a full airplane. Oh. And I, I was sitting next to this guy, and halfway through the flight, he just disappeared and never came back. I don't know what happened he to him. He got lost inside of you. He might have. I really... <laughs> That, that's exactly. more logical. Man, he was behind you the whole time. Yeah. Are you there, sir? No, he'd be dead by now, huh? He, he, well, I don't know. Maybe he's in my sarcophagus. Are there any resources in there? I'm a sarc there probably is, actually. <laughs> I don't chew my food very well. He's probably got a lifetime supply of M&Ms down there. At least peanuts uh, and corn. Uh, do you... Yeah, feel like what just the audience is going to get really turned on by that fact. It really disturbs me. Well, yeah, the feeders. Uh, but what yeah. were you saying, Steve? When you when you get on a plane, like, do you enjoy looking at the eyes of people? You know what I mean? Like the people who are, who okay. are being like, please no, please no, please no. So I usually pre-board because of how morbidly obese I am. And uh, <laughs> I get to watch every person walk by me and then check their ticket, crossing their fingers that it's not the one next to me. They're like, oh, fuck. And they look. And then they walk by me and they're like, oh, God, thank you. Oh, every time I see a short person in first class, I'm just like, what the fuck you need this for? Every seat is first class for you. He's like, oh, oh bar, baby. That's not true. <laughs> first no, class is all you can drink. The idea of, well, and I'm not talking about first class, like the bed seats on like a long haul flight. I mean the first class planes where it's like, okay, it's a little bit more leg room. And yeah. like, that's pretty much what first class is. Well, they also give and you dessert and a moist towelette, right? Unlimited drinks. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, if you're an alcoholic American like I am. Uh, yeah, but I'm 6'4". And so, like, when I see someone who's, like, 5'2 in first class, I'm just like, give me yeah. that give me that leg room. I want that leg room. Yeah. Take it's, my seat. Yeah, you, they always would sit me next to, like, whatever the Britney Spears was of the flight, like the tiny little teen Bob girl. Yeah. 
And like I, I'd be on the window seat. You know, I, just, I booked that. And I just thought of like, something. Like, if you literally kept food inside of you, that would bring a whole new meaning to Billy the Fridge. Yeah, I've done that before. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I used to keep uh, snacks under my man titties. You know, I was trying to some warm. Oh my! I was trying to remember the other day who was that? Fo- who's the football player that followed you? Oh, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Yeah, he unfollowed me, and then he followed oh, me again, and what? then he unfollowed me again. I don't know what I'm doing to Jerry Rice. He, he keeps. Wait, wait, he actually did that to me too. I oh, think he, he. I think he does a follow for follow type of thing. Okay. Oh. I think if you're very fast or a lot of followers or whatever, okay, like some accounts that'll just follow anyone to try to get you to follow them back yeah it was weird because he was like following some friends of mine that are like uh musicians as well and i'm like what is going on here one of the guys i thought one of the guys i thought wasn't even verified so it was just weird to me yeah, yeah. i mean it could it could be like a following a hashtag thing or something like possibly. that. possibly i'm not a part of that uh, you were all like away. maybe he thinks i'm uh william the refrigerator yeah, perry I, I thought he thought i was fridge perry and yeah. and I was like I was like I hit him up I was like hey man you know I'm white right and then I guess that's racist you did not say that all right <laughs> he'd never say that. yeah I didn't think he's so like, he's, like, w. <laughs> he's like I'm gonna unfollow you like white on rice <laughs> <laughs> we need a fucking drum roll <laughs> yeah oh bye. Yeah, I can't believe you went on that big of a tangent, Billy, about Trump saying the word peanut. It's peanut stuff, man. You can't stop. Yeah, peanut stuff. Did you uh, Did you guys see Trump arguing with Pelosi and Schumer? <sighs> it's great. Yeah, I did. It's crazy. They wouldn't look him in the eye either. So I'm a progressive. I vote Democrat most of the time. Mm-hmm. I don't particularly like Pelosi or Schumer. Yeah, but that was still. But as a comic, that was fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, we'll I am to proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems and drugs pouring into our country. So yeah, we I want will them in the White the House. Handle. You know, when the when we last closed down, that was his idea. And honestly, he got killed. And so he doesn't want to own it. And I said, you know what? Rather than us debating who's owning it, I'll take it. I'll take it. If we close down the country, I will take it because we're closing it down for border security. Was he at the Vatican or something? What's going on here? (laughs) I feel like that's a rev run behind him from Run DMC. (laughs) Actually, it's Al Sharpton. (laughs) Oh, man. And I think I win that every single time. You can do border security without a wall, which is wasteful and doesn't solve the problem. It it totally solves the problem. You know, I noticed something from this, too, which I... I personally have never heard Trump admit before. He admitted that it's not going to be a, a a total wall covering the entire border. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 He he said that it's not going to be a wall everywhere, just in good places. So, so it's a shield. Then what's even the point? People will just walk the fuck past it eventually. Well, the, the point is like it's it's basically a lucky rabbit's foot, right? You, it's it's a symbolic. It's nothing else than a symbol. You don't to say that he said it, that he did it, you know, and, and nothing else. There's no point for, to it. Seen a waste of money. Like there are there are places where like you'll see like a fence and it'll extend for a while and then it'll just yeah. stop for a little and you're like oh and you just walk around the fence. What's even the point? That's the that's that's what he's doing. Like, but I also love the idea of like it's <clears throat> like he's so afraid of this migrant caravan that will walk through entire countries. And he's like, yeah, but it's not going to walk around a wall, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna- yeah that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, what's going to deter them if they've walked all their way just to walk a little bit more? Like, I mean, it's from it's stupid. Stupid, though. Have you ever been to West Texas? It's kind of shitty. So. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. They, they don't care. They'll go through that. They want to get to America, man. I think that I'm going to run in 2020 and I'm going to fuck this wall shit. I'm going to build a water slide all the way to Canada. I mean, there's all there's already video of them like crawling under fences and everything anyway. So I, I don't really think a wall would be it's, that effective. And, and most- and Lieb's joke about uh, it's just going to be like Angry Birds. <laughs> <laughs> they would be catapulting over. Yeah. They'll build a giant slingshot. Yep. The, there's like already an Elon Musk down in Mexico that's devising these plans. He's changing the world, man. 
it, it, most people come in, uh, they just fly in on a commercial flight and then overstay, extend their visa anyways, right? Like that's the most yeah. – the, the way most people enter. So it's like, oh, this wall is yeah. going to stop people from just doing what they're fucking doing. Miguel Dalmau is a comic, and he, had, he has a bit about that, about, like, when he when his family came over, he was a kid, and, like, he came over illegally at first, and, you know, then eventually, you know, got his legal citizenship. But everybody's like, oh, how'd you get here? And he's like, American Airlines. What do you mean, how'd I get here? <laughs> I just flew here, that's how. There's also a lot of migrant workers that come through, you know, like to the Midwest where, you know, they need help on farms and stuff like that. And they just stay. They overstand yeah. like a temporary workers permit. What if we just so. get like a whole bunch of like reality TV show contestants to hang out at the border? And for every person they catch on the way in, they're like, go home. And they get like, I don't know, bonus points. And we watch it live streamed on, a, I don't know, YouTube.com or something. That'd be a fun <laughs> game, right? I mean, I think every single word that you said of that, Billy, got worse and worse and worse. No, no, because they're just, they're just like interceptors. They're like, you got to go home now. Right? I actually think what we should do is we should line the, the border with reality show contestants. And every time <laughs> uh, a migrant worker comes in, we trade for reality. <laughs> like, they have to leave. Yeah. The and then I can get a working person who can contribute to society instead of a fucking real housewife. Bye, Snooky. Bye, Snooky. <laughs> right? No. Snooky goes first, but she only counts as half of one of them. So <laughs> does, that, does that mean we get rid of Hulk Hogan too? Oh man, Hogan knows oh, best. Nick Hogan's down there mining, yeah. mining the uh, <laughs> the tequila the fields. <laughs> yeah, running from the cartels. Oh man, let's get let's get people body cams and send them down there, and then we'll do we'll do trades. We'll be like, yeah. okay. I think actually that's a way to fix our education system. <clears throat> you take it'll be like uh like Premier League soccer. You know? You take the you know, the bottom five percent of every class and you send them out. You know? And you promote to the Premier League. You promote from people who are trying to come in. Yeah. And you take you take the uh Americans who aren't uh, earning their keep and they gotta go. I, and that's I, how that's how we fix it. I actually just had like a chilling revelation that like if if Donald Trump heard us talking about this, he might actually start doing something, and we turn into the we, we 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 get the Hunger Games. If he gets reelected, we might have the Hunger you Games. You were kind of on a reality show, yeah. Battle Cam, yeah. Battle Cam House, right? It was it was, it was weird, man. It was weird. What I is that? Okay, so there's this billionaire that bought a TV station in uh, Los Angeles market back in the early 2010s like 2012 2013 and yeah. he wanted to have a reality show on his tv station and he flew a bunch of people in and put us in what we thought was going to be a house but it was like a makeshift prison cell <laughs> in the middle of beverly hills just right off cannon drive like parallel to rodeo it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger gets his hair cut right next door to where we were at it was just the stupidest place for him to put a bunch of weirdos and meth heads inside of what he made to look like a prison cell which was like a big expensive tv he studio. had people putting their faces in each other's asses and all oh, kinds yeah. of weird shit and it was all live on tv and he'd just get fined like thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars for doing this it was broadcast throughout the Southwestern. Andy, D Andy Dick was there too. <laughs> Andy Dick was in the, in the in the building. It was so it was so bad. It got shut down after twenty four hours. Was booked to do the show. He was just hanging out there. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I'm just coming here to pick up some drugs. Why is your buddy Joe ducking me? <laughs> he, he he was horny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was weird. I don't know. Yeah, so you qualify. Put your ass on the border. P put me on the border. I'm fucking. I don't care. I'll walk back. I, I'm still. I, I'm. I'm actually thinking through this Premier League idea. <laughs> I think it's a fine idea. You want a country to get better? You don't. You don't just have to get in. You know, because he, he's always talking about how, like, oh, <clears throat> you know, we want the best and brightest immigrants. Like, we want people from Norway. And by the way, I performed in Norway, and no one there is like, oh, we need to go to America because Norway's <laughs> fucking awesome. So exactly right. Yeah. So and that's why no one's coming from there. But you don't just need to get like you know a better class of immigrant coming in. You also need to to replace them. You need to you need to thin our herd a little bit. I think you combine the two, and we have ourselves a solution. Yeah, I, maybe maybe like uh, in exchange, because nobody wants to give up their their 
birthright of being American, right? It's very, very expensive. So if you trade with somebody, you make like 10% of their earnings, right? Oh, so you're doing it as like a voluntary thing. Maybe, yeah. Get rid of all the, the do-nothings, the, the non-employables, and they just go down to Mexico and they sit in a little bathtub and then the, everybody else comes up All here right, i'm gonna play some well, more well, of this like uh, yeah, so on. know that yeah, you know nancy's in a situation you. where it's not easy for her to talk right now and i understand that and i fully understand yeah he, he keeps doing this uh, oh nancy can't talk right now he keeps that. saying that we're gonna have a good discussion and we're gonna see what well, happens Pepper, but we have to have border security Pepper, let's, let's, debate, let's debate let's okay. okay. debate in private okay yeah they keep saying this but then they keep going at it it's hilarious let's debate it's not easy for her to talk right now because I'm not letting her get a word in edgewise. Like, that's <laughs> why. In private. That is devoid, frankly, of fact, and we, we can... We need border that. security. Is Pence we all just agree sitting there holding in a fart? Right? Good. See, and Trump uh, keeps no. saying... Pence, Trump Pence keep died. <laughs> R.I.P. Trump keeps saying they don't want border security, and they're like, no, we want border security. We just think the wall is wasteful and ineffective. And he's like, they don't want border security. Yeah, that's Trump, though. Trump is talking as if they're not there, which is amazing. And they're not looking him in the eye either. Cause the <laughs> and look at Emperor Palpatine sitting back there looking at everything, not yeah. saying a word. Exactly. Do you see? Well, I mean, Pence is really concerned because he's in a room with a woman. So, <laughs> I hope my not. wife doesn't see me this close to Pelosi. She'll divorce me. We do. See? We get along. You know what? We need border security. That's what we're going to be talking about, border security. If we don't have border security, we'll shut down the government. This country. No this is like Thanksgiving dinner when your uncle's just being, like, super racist. Everybody's just looking at, like, looking at each other's eyes like, when's he going to shut the fuck up? Oh, my God. This yeah. is so no, embarrassing. So Pence's Pence, Pence nurse shut, coming back. Shut the hell up, Grandpa. <laughs> Pence is what? Nurse. Oh. Yeah, he needs his I'm bedpan changed. Busy character at a Thanksgiving dinner because he is not it's so bizarre to like see someone who is alleged I mean look vice president I know the joke has always been like oh the vice president do any, doesn't do anything and of course you know Cheney changed that a little bit but yeah that's true but the idea of like he's just sitting there expressionless motionless just catatonic in that chair is he I I mean I I, I actually think that editorial in the times remember that editorial yeah. that was like you know, there's a mole in the, you know, in the white app. Yeah. I am so sure that was Pence. Well, it, there's a good chance because who would benefit the most if Trump got booted out of office? That's true. If you can distance yourself from him. Well, which so is easy. You have the chance to actually distance yourself, but you can lay the groundwork for, like, if Trump goes down, be like, look, see, I told you. I use the word lodestone like no other human being in the world. So, <laughs> really me. Someone in the chat made a good uh, point. Uh, they said, I thought Mexico was going to pay for the wall, but now, you know, he's he's saying, hey, we got to pass a wall in yeah. the in the budget, right? He promised that Mexico would pay that? for it. I thought Lego was going to sponsor the wall. What happened to that? <laughs> Lego oh, wall. my God. Didn't he say it was going to be a solar wall at one point, too? He said that might yeah, be one way they yeah, pay I for it. That. It's a solar wall. But it might have solar paneling. It'll pay for itself. <laughs> yeah. I think it if was, you get all the little MAGA children, the little red state kids whose parents voted Trump in to donate their Legos... If they'll donate their Legos, yeah. that might that might be a, a smart way to make the wall happen. I actually think the solar, considering the climate of where it is, I think the solar wall would probably work. And then, and on top of it, you put a, you put a wind farm. It's it's the most green thing in the entire country. Self sustained. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it wouldn't be vandalized or anything. Nope, it, it had, would have no issues at all. Well, I mean, yeah, I think actually the wind farm part would also protect people from climbing over the wall because those things would chop their fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. The majority of votes for a wall, no matter where you sit. And the House would give me the vote if I wanted it, but I can't because well, I need, can't. Nancy, I need to pay close votes attention Trump. to their hands as they're, they're talking. Let me just say one thing. The fact is, we do not have the votes in the House. Nancy, I, I like how we, yeah. Losey did the thing that would drive Trump crazy. Yeah, dude. Is, which is this. That's going to bother oh, Trump. Yeah. Is that a penis size insult? <laughs> and, yeah. And, and she it, was like, no, it's we're not going to do it. Look, <laughs> look at my fingers right that now. That really triggered Trump, dude, because he's seen Trump. that a few times in his life before, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Just, just, just air jerking them off like this. Look, Nancy, I told you we need security. Okay, we need a wall. <laughs> yeah. He just yeah. starts miming the wall. Yeah, yeah he's like a mime. Down at the border. Yeah, and we and need just border mime security. the wall. Nancy, Nancy, we need border security. It's very simple. <laughs> of course we do. We need border security. <laughs> People are pouring into our country, including terrorists. We have terrorists. We call including terrorists. terrorists over the last very short period of time. Ten. <laughs> no, very serious no people. actual schedule. There, there are ten over the last very short period of time. <laughs> you know, how are, many? How many actual terrorist attacks come from Mexico or are done by Mexicans? Like honestly, in this country, like can you have, can you name any that have happened this year? I can't even think of any at all, or within the past few years, or at all. Well, so. because if they're catching them before they the, the terrorist attacks happen, then they're preventative, right? So but he's saying that's not happening. He's saying that they're getting into this country where there's no evidence of that being the case. Well, ten do could have got in. Do you count like having to watch a Migos concert? Or <laughs> I did that one uh, time. <laughs> honestly, yeah. So, I, I'm a uh, terrorist. Point taken. Point taken. <laughs> yeah. I'm a terrorist. Um, I, yeah. I also love the idea that like. And, and look, this is a point that's been made a million times, but the vast majority of, I mean, like the overwhelming majority of terrorist attacks that have been carried on out on American soil have been done by white men. And so, like, if his point is we need to stop all people who could be terrorists, like, you might have to address that also. But we can't stop white men. You right? know, the, they're in charge. The truth is, is that terrorists are sneaking into America disguised as mariachi bands. And they yeah, go. That's the uh, that's that's the toughest part. Every time, I mean, every time I've ever been on a subway train and a mariachi band has come on, I'm just like, oh god, oh god, <laughs> is, it, is this going to be the one? Is this going to be the one? And then no, they, it just turns out they're a mariachi band, which also, by the way, as bad, but yeah, which is a form of terrorism, by the way. Yeah, exactly. It's it, it, it you know it's a ear terror. You guys, you guys don't respect the dance. Yeah, in, in I love, book. by the way, that someone in the chat is now defending Migos. Like, I was serious that they were terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our Even though Offset agents, did Cardi B wrong. Our law enforcement has been incredible what they've done. But we call you constantly misstate how much the wall is built, how much of the wall is built, and how much is there. But that's not the point here. We have a disagreement about the wall, Washington whether Post. it's effective or whatever. Not on border security, but on the wall. We do not want to shut down the government. You have called 20 times to shut down the government. You say, I want to shut down the government. We don't. We want to come to an agreement. If we can't come to an agreement, we have solutions that will pass the House and Senate right now and will not shut down the government. And that's what we're urging you to do. Not threaten to shut down the government because you, you let me just finish, because you can't get your way. You shut it down, yeah, let me oh say something. God. So now he's doing the, yeah, you shut it down. Yeah, but wasn't that Ted Cruz? Like Ted Cruz was the was that first big shutdown <laughs> that cost us so much money and hurt our economy so much, and then he ran for president based on how successful that allegedly was. It was not. Yeah, <laughs> it was not. That's right. been everyone else's answer. Like when he brought that up, just be like, it was not. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Mr. President, you just say my way or we'll shut down the government. We have a, the one thing I think we can agree on is we shouldn't shut down the government over a dispute. And you want to shut it down. I, no, you keep no, talking no, no, about no. it. Really Dude, you should. Really I, think, I think Pence knows some shit. I think Pence is the mole. The way he's sitting back here just watching them fight. He's like, yeah. right, I got two more months of this shit and I'm in his seat. This is, yeah. this is some uh, house of cards right Trump now. Says the next thing that Trump says, I believe it's one of the next things at least, is it blows your, it'll blow your mind. It's crazy. That Trump's always say. blowing my mind. He's I like so how he's sitting literally on the edge of the seat, too. You notice that? Because <laughs> uh, he, he's yeah. thick. Trump's a thick boy. He got a big rump. He can't, he, no. he, he can only sit on the no, edge. No, he's sitting on the edge of the chair. His ass is not touching butt. the back of that seat. It, it basically is, though. He got a, he got a, like a, a duck butt. No, what? He's got a bit of a duck butt. What? Yeah, he's got the, the tail's <laughs> big there. He might want to go to a proctologist then, if that's the case. Oh, well, he would if he wasn't of perfect health. You've seen his papers. Yeah, dude. He, he, the peak of physical perfection is Trump. <laughs> Eating uh, his Kentucky Fried Chicken the, with a fork and knife. Yeah. We said uh, something about my video in the chat. Thanks, buddy. Because someone else is telling me to eat a dick hole, so I'm going to tell. <laughs> I'm gonna say, That'll counter I, I'm going to say hi to the nice guy. Instead, 
Yeah, we're rewarding all the sweet. Who boys. was it? Uh, we I, I didn't quite hear you when you said it. Uh, Lord Magicus, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Did read it right. <clears throat> I don't know. I appreciate uh, I appreciate the kind words. Uh, but let's get back to Trump's dug butt. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, no, no. And then you open 20 it times. very quickly. And 20 times. I don't want to do what you did. 20 but, times Chuck. you have called for, I will shut down the government if I don't get my wool. None of us have you said You want to know something? You've said okay, it. Okay, you want to put that you on my... You said it. I'll take it. Okay, okay, good. You know what I'll say? Yes. If we don't get what we want, one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to Through call, the military? I will shut down the government. Okay. Absolutely. So he's saying, don't get what I want, government will shut down. Should... Should that be happening? Should the, the the funding for the government be held hostage? Is he um, just going to threaten this every time the Democrats uh, have an opposition to what he's going to do during his presidency? I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, also, by the way, uh, I would like to point out <clears throat> that Mike Pence doesn't understand that when you sit down, you're supposed to uh, open your jacket. Just... <laughs> he doesn't plan on being there very that long. That is quite a fashion faux pas. Right there. Yeah, how dare you, Mike? And especially at this time of year, no, I, that's, a, that's a universal thing. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And I, I am disagree. proud, and I'll we tell you disagree. what, I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems Someone should and really drugs take a pouring of into Mike our country. In They'd rather yeah. have the government shut down than let people in with... I mean, hold on, well, hold the, on. The majority of people who even want border security don't want the wall. Wouldn't shutting down the government long enough affect border security? I I could imagine. I imagine. No, I mean, I, I mean, it's not like the government is responsible for. Oh shit! Wait, <laughs> I know TSA. Oh, if TSA doesn't get paid, they're not going to be very happy. No. Yes. Well, in fairness, TSA is never going to be very happy. Those guys are assholes. <laughs> but. True. They're already not very happy. Imagine if they're not getting paid to be there. One of our buddies <laughs> that uh, supports the show is a is a TSA agent. It it's hilarious. Like I have a friend. Oh. I uh, I have a friend who works TSA, and I was talking to her. and I was like, <clears throat> you know, I have like a fifteen minute bit about how much you guys suck, and she was like, a lot of look, a lot of it's overstated. But and I go, well, why don't you watch the bit? So like, I sat with her while she watched the bit, and then I shut it off, and she goes. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, it was, it was great. Yeah, it's it's a terrible experience every time. I try to make it as quick as possible. Yeah, my theory, and the worst part about TSA, it's the one thing in America where you that you cannot complain to a supervisor about. Because like I've had situations where I mean I've been stolen from at TSA. Yeah, I have had <clears throat> I've had someone. Uh, tell me that I can't opt out, which is completely against the law. Um, I've had, like, I've had them lie to me about their procedures, and, like, each time I've tried, and I don't even complain anymore, because each time I've tried to be like, I'm going to talk to the shift, super shift supervisor, the answer is always, you know, it's a really hard job, all right? They, they deal with a lot, okay? And, like, that's the, not like, oh, that one employee is breaking the law. So maybe that's not a good thing. There's never an apology. It's always like, fuck off, peasant. Well, I mean, the no, same. No, peasants. <laughs> I mean, Excuse most me. of the time, the same thing happens with police. Like, if you complain about police, it's like, oh, man, you just don't understand. Their job is so hard, man. I, I, oh, dude, I had, I came home once, <clears throat> and there were three cops with this giant fucking gun pointed at my balcony. What? And, like, and they were pointing, and then they were laughing, and they, like, put it away, and I walked up, and then I was like, hey, uh, I live there. What the hell is going on? And immediately they were like, oh, oh, well, 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 well uh, we, we, we got a call about something, and it turned out, it turned out nothing happened. Uh, it was just a movie set. Um, you know, someone saw somebody with a gun, and they were afraid, and I was like, okay, uh, here? No one's filming here. And they're like, oh, it was down the block. And I was like, okay, why are you pointing a gun at my place? And the guy was like, "Oh, well, you know, because we we have to you have, you, you have to uh, uh, un basically saying they had to unset it up." And so I was like, "That doesn't that doesn't sound real." And it, like it was so clear that they were lying to me instead of just being like, "Hey, sorry about that." I mean, my fucking dog was there. Like, what if the gun went off? You know? So I I called a buddy of mine is a state trooper, and I called him up, and I was like, "Is this weird? Is this like a am I overreacting?" And he goes, no, that's completely against procedure. You do not point a gun at something you do not intend to shoot. Like, that is the first thing that we're taught. And so, like, I called the local precinct asking them, like, is this a thing? And immediately they were just like, they're doing their job. 
and like hung up on. <laughs> they're doing like, their job. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing their job. I was like, they were fucking having a giggle fit about their brand new weapon. Fuck off. Could you imagine if it was like that, like at a restaurant, like an employee pissed in your food or something, and you try to complain about it, and they'd just be like, oh, yeah, they're just doing their job. They're like, they're just doing their job. Eat the pissy food. Yeah. By the way, the guy I like lightly teased about not getting the Migos joke now hates me so much in this <laughs> chat. Oh. Everything I do now. They're like, God damn you. So, all right. Oh, yeah. You'll get a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, the, joke that's just how the chat is, man. It's because you're not yeah. bad and bougie, Steve. Uh, I got to get I gotta get worse and bougier. You got to be badder and bougier. The, the bougiest. It, isn't it worse, not badder? I don't know. I, I don't know words. More badder? Wow, everybody get on Steve for trying to correct me. Fuck Steve, grammar Nazi. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> I'm going to speak to your supervisor. <laughs> no, that is shit, though. Like, whatever job you do, no matter what job you do, if you fuck up to the point, and I don't mean something like, there are people who look for anything to complain about. Like, my mother would always like growing up would always complain at an employee about store policy and i'm just like this is a minimum wage clerk like this person does not set the policy of sears roebuck right like what are you doing and that was always embarrassing to me but if an employee actually does something that's fucked up you should be able to say something right like no matter what their job is whether it is tsa or cop or like server whatever it is if like they do something to really fuck up your day you're allowed to say something you would think. You would think. But yeah. complaining to the cops usually doesn't get you uh, any sort of uh, like free meal. What? Yeah, exactly. It'd be like, I demand the next time these cops come to my place, they do not fire a gun <laughs> or yeah. point a gun. Yeah. I, I want to get out of jail free card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That'd be great. Be like, all right, next time, next time these guys give me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to beat up one guy. Just one guy. <laughs> Also, I would need to physically be able to beat up one guy, which is a different story. But aren't you six uh, four? What? Aren't you six foot four? Yeah, but I'm trying to be self deprecating. It's endearing. Okay, you could kick some ass though, like IRL. Uh, I, it depends on how big the person is. I'm I'm not a small person. Yeah, you're not small, and also redheads have a higher pain threshold, right? Like, isn't that what? scientifically factual? Oh, no, it's the opposite. Oh, <clears throat> so redheads. Our, our skin tends to be more sensitive. Oh. So, like, both to, it's both to heat and cold. Like, we have this weird, uh, thin skin. Maybe emotionally as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, probably. Yeah, but it's one of these yeah, things where, like, oh, my God, anyone I have ever dated that I have, like, tried to shower with, it's a fucking impossibility. <laughs> it's an absolute impossibility. Because this is one of these things where, like, I want it, like, lukewarm. And, they, and I don't know if this is women in general tend to want really hot showers is that a thing uh, yeah, i think it's I just a before. personal preference i guess As, if they're dirty yeah. women they probably have to have hot showers whoa i'm looking too much into it billy i don't know yeah right but also but the thing with redheads though is uh or, or this is definitely true with me and i've been told it's with other people as well is that uh paint like um I, I forget the term for it but like novocaine or something like that you, you, we need way more Anest in order to anesthesiologist uh, to, when Anest you, yeah, anesthesia yeah. stuff yeah so like when i go to the dentist or something like they gotta pump my fucking mouth full of that yeah. shit for it to have any effect at all like painkillers any of that stuff barely works on us that's what i was thinking uh yeah is uh pain threshold the worst x-man <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a pretty shitty superpower yeah you, you, yeah you just get beaten every time by a tanning guy. He wakes up in the middle of surgery. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that same guy who hates me is now trying to make, like, a dick in my ass joke. Like, dude, come on. I made one fucking joke about Migos. Calm you down. shouldn't have stepped to the Migos. I'm not on the Drunken Peasants podcast. <laughs> I had no idea it was like that. Oh, yeah. We're real here. Yeah. We're gonna read in the chat though, because like people people pay extra for this shit, right? Yeah, yeah, for the chat that's yeah, actually the on, the on the screen. Yeah, they're yeah, patrons they uh, <laughs> through Patreon and uh, sub subscribe star as yeah. well. Their opinions are slightly more it, valuable. It is, it is changing the game, man. The way the way I use it, um, I finally figured out that like because most of, most of my people are, are fans because of my YouTube videos, and so what I used to do 
is like when I come back off a tour, I'd have 10 or 15 new videos and I just upload them all and then just make them public one at a time. Mm -hmm. And so what I realized, I was like, oh, what about for the Patreons? Why don't I just give them access to these videos? And so like if you're a Patreon, you can see my stuff two, three weeks ahead of every, like today I uploaded 11 new videos and it was like, all right, well, these will come out in two or three weeks or you could just watch them now for a dollar. And it is amazing how many people, not only that, but there's there's a level of pride for people to support the art that they like. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, <laughs> it's huge these days. People love to do that shit. Yeah, I think that that's, I think that that's really cool to, to be able to, because like, sometimes some like sometimes when people buy tickets to one of my shows it's you know i have a door deal with the club and i get extra money because of ticket sales and then sometimes i get a flat fee it doesn't matter how many tickets i sell and so like i've had i've had close personal friends be like oh no no, i insist on buying a ticket i'm like i don't give a fuck i don't get that yeah. you know but if but people know that if they donate to your patreon it goes right to you there's no middleman and like i think that's a really awesome thing that's going on with creators right now yeah, yeah. I, I do think that crowdfunding, not not really crowdfunding sites, I guess, but you know, sites like Patreon and like Subscribestar and whatever competitors end up being, that's going to be like the the future of content creators is people direct support them in that way instead of ad revenue and all that other shit. It's probably yeah. better in some ways, but we've got a, it's also less. We got a few more things to get through here. We got uh, Michael Cohen sentenced to three years in prison. Okay, just sentenced Michael Cohen to 36 uh, yes. months. And he prison, snitched. So three years of federal prison time for Michael He would have gotten way Cohen more, I think. Three years with him snitching. Underway. You see some of the attorneys coming out now. Here he is. Let's see if he speaks. Hopefully this is the last we hear this story for a while. <laughs> well, yeah. It won't be. Well, I mean, you'll hear about it, you know, if Trump... You know, if they end up taking Trump into an impeachment trial, yeah, you'll hear about it there. Yeah, that's true. There you see Michael Cohen getting into the black car with his wife, his son, and his daughter, and driving up. What I'm fascinated not by about this is that Michael Cohen also represents Sean Hannity. Does he? Yeah. Yes. So there's oh, a, yeah. there's other people aside from this that they might have now. Hmm. I mean, depending on. Because, look, you don't have a lawyer like Michael Cohen if you're doing things the legal way. <laughs> like, you know, Michael Cohen is a white-collar better call Saul. Mm. And, like, he's not he's not your lawyer if you're just like, oh, got all these parking tickets. What do I do? <laughs> like, he's a fixer. He's not a lawyer. And so I anyone he represents could be in trouble now. A lot of people. I remember I remember before Trump got elected, he was in a debate against Hillary and they were they were questioning something he said and he was like, Ask Sean Hannity. He was there, he'll tell you. I'm like, Yeah, that's yeah. a good that's a good response. Sean Hannity. Yeah. S stuff like that is like to that, that's like saying like, Oh, can you really talk to animals? Well ask Doctor Doolittle. You saw that movie. It's like well, yeah. that's yeah. <laughs> that's know, right? Yeah. Uh, I think we touched on that as much as we really can. Yeah, he's going to prison. Uh, Three years, and that includes snitching. Um, Theresa May, I guess today they were voting on a, on no confidence to try and get rid of her. Yeah, did that and, happen? As the party leader. No, it, no, no, it failed. It did, it, yeah, it did fail. Um, let's see. We have some breaking news in our world lead now. British Prime Minister Theresa May is safe. At least for the moment, just a few moments ago, oh May God, survived a no-confidence vote from her own party. Backlash had been growing for a while from pro-Brexit lawmakers frustrated with her negotiations to leave the European Union, criticizing her for not making a completely clean break in the negotiations. CNN's Bianca Nobilo is in London for us. And Bianca, despite the fact that Prime Minister May is safe for the next year, the Brexit plan is still in chaos. March 29th is the agreed upon date that England will leave the EU. What will happen if a firm plan is still not set? 
Well, Jake, the default option if there's no Brexit plan agreed upon is a no-deal Brexit. The UK is leaving the European Union on the 29th of March next year. That's enshrined in law and subject to anything else being agreed, that's what's going to happen. And that's the scenario that businesses and lawmakers and many people in the nation fear most. So that's what the Prime Minister is trying to avoid. But her plan is so unpopular and loathed by members of her own party. For yeah, I always feel weird. I'm like, what the hell is going to happen Like when they leave the EU? I know. Well, look at the pound. I mean, the pound used to be worth uh, $1.65. Now it's like one twenty five. Yeah, um, the but, but everybody who supports Brexit is like, it's for the economy. Like, <laughs> really? Your economy lost 25% of its value? There is plenty of crazy shit going on in the European Union these days, but I mean, it's, it's undeniable that it's like hurting their country, especially right now, to uh, to deal with this shit. Like, they, they, yeah. clearly, no one no one even has a good idea on how to leave. So why would you? You know, that should have been talked about way, way before they even voted to leave the country. Right. I think the premise of this is like, hey, we're not having a good time at this party, so we're gonna go. We're just mm -hmm. gonna walk through that wall. To get out of this place. Wow. Yeah, exactly. You're right. You're right. It's like, true. yeah, you know what? The party's shit. You want to leave? Okay. <laughs> but you might want to figure out where the fuck the door is before exactly. you go. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. That's a good point. Yeah. Right now, they only have about 26 cents on the dollar. Like, the pound is only uh, about 26 cents more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. For, for a little while, it actually dipped even. Which is the first time that that's happened in our lifetime. Back wow. in back in two thousand seven, it was more than double the value of the dollar. So yeah. that's pretty yeah, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's. Uh, I was so I was over in. Uh, I was over in Europe uh, this summer. I did the Fringe, um, and so I was doing like a couple of different shows, different countries beforehand, and uh, I go to I go to like go through passport control. And there's a line for, like, EU, and there's a line for non-EU passports. Now, most of the people flying in Europe have EU passports. So the line for non-EU is n basically non-existent. So I go there, and there's one dude in front of me, and he's got a fucking UK passport. He's, he's got an English passport. And, uh, like, the, the guard is like, um, this is for non-EU only. And he's like, oh, you didn't hear that we're leaving the EU? And it's like, dude, you can't Brexit out of the line. Right. Like... <laughs> Brexit on, stage oh left. God. Yeah, you just one of these dudes who's like very rich. You could just like feel his racism. You know what I mean? <laughs> what an idiot, dude. Just what one of these. Just, yeah. Uh, just oh, how much tweed can you put on one fucking body? Seriously. <laughs> very very frustrating. It was fun to watch him have to get in the other line, like behind everybody. Oh, that was that was a good time to watch. And then I just oh. like, watched an American passport, and they're like, go ahead. Yeah, because yeah, you know he can't stand having to uh, stand next to what he sees as, like, the lesser Europeans, you know? Absolutely. It's like, ugh, these... Ugh. I mean, to him, his his racism isn't even like, oh, these people are brown. He's like, these people are different white. Well... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and, and that's, that's one thing about the EU being part of the EU that, you know, certain people really didn't like was that... It allowed people from other nations to to live and work in any of the EU countries without needing yeah. a visa or anything like that. So people from you know like a more a way poorer country like Greece or something could just move there and start working. But in the meantime, like Scotland is like, wait, you guys can leave the UK, like you guys can leave the EU, but we have to fucking stay in the UK, can't we? They tried. We they tried about five yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah Scotland. And I, I, I've spent a decent amount of time in Scotland. I've spent a decent amount of time in England. Look, I enjoyed England, but Scotland, what a fucking great country. Holy shit. Like, everything there is just nice. And I'm sure they have their problems that, like, you don't see as a two-week tourist. But, like, what a beautiful place. Yeah, I've been to England, never been to Scotland before. You know, uh, you know um, Quebec has tried to leave Canada before, too. Yeah, which is, which is, by the way, kind of, I mean, hell, Texas has tried to leave America, yeah. which, you know, that's full of true patriots. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing about, like, the, the secessionist movement of that, I have a theory that, well, first of all, Oklahoma is not like, no, don't go, you know, but I have a theory that the Texas secessionist movement started from someone just misunderstanding the word success. <laughs> like, 
like someone was like, I think we should secede. And someone, went, oh, I think we should all secede. Oh, yeah. A kid to secede? <laughs> I ain't gonna succeed. We're gonna we're uh we're gonna cover one more story here. It's study finds U.S. diplomat diplomats were attacked using sonic device, like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, they hit him with a Sonic exactly the Hedgehog. Like come out, yeah, like the new movie come out, Billy. When they when they got attacked, did little gold rings fall out of their pocket? A medical report yeah. shedding some light on the bizarre brain injury suffered by dozens of American oh. diplomats in Cuba. Dr. Wow. Dr. Siegel's with us, professor of medicine at NYU Lango Medical Center and a Fox News contributor. What are we learning from this? This is a big deal. Dr. Michael Hoffer and his group of Miami are the only yes, people that... He's like, this is a big deal. Do you see that goofy-ass smile he had a second ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did we learn about these brain injuries from diplomats that have been attacked? And he's like, oh my god, this is the best day for me? This is what I've been waiting for? This is my big break. Examined the diplomats. He was the one with the fucking sonic ray gun aiming at their heads so he can get on Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> greasy little fuck five of them right after the event it's retrospective but sandra it's not polluted by what the media said by a hope for workman's compensation claim by time passing or by treatments they got this is what they looked like and what they found is very striking problems with dizziness problems with balance the gravity center of the inner ear problems with what the, fuck? the brain secondarily with thinking all of which point to a weapon all of which point probably to a sonic weapon, a low frequency. This, this reminds me of like a Von Helton conspiracy theory. There's, yeah. there's this weird know, guy. Right? There's this weird guy we watch in the show sometime. He lives in like a trailer in Kentucky. And he makes he makes stories like this. Like he said the fires in California was actually Elon Musk using an orbital laser to like like shoot things uh, and incinerate, catch yeah, incinerate so that they can properties. build the high speed train that they want to build so the property in California. value will drop and they'll be able to buy yeah, it. He's gonna, he's gonna build the high speed train, like, one of those fires was at the fucking Getty Center yeah. like, yeah, we're gonna build the high speed train right to the museum Speaking of crazy <laughs> conspiracies, I'm pretty sure there's a Gale video coming later, so we'll yeah. get to show you him. Yeah. This, wait, hold on a second, has this been corroborated by anyone other than this weird smiley dude? I know, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll have yeah. to look and see if there's, you know, like a written story all about these it. Symptoms, I'll look it up. All these uh, symptoms are, they coincide with sonic attacks, but also I think they coincide if you get bad Chipotle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the same time, it's like, so we've narrowed it down to two things. That's all what two. happened to me. When you... I, and, poisoning or sonic attacks. It was all the yeah, romaine lettuce. Hot sauce, man. Feels good, man. I was trapped in an elevator with Billy after uh, he ate Chipotle, and we we were trapped in there for an hour. And I believe I was Sonic attacked. <laughs> yeah, that was a Sonic fair attack. I like Chipotle, man. I do too. I eat it. I eat it today. I eat it like four times a week. That's oh man. My friend, uh, my friend wrote to Chipotle. Chris Powers, who's a comedian, um, before the whole like you know we knew Jared was a pedophile thing. Uh, he wrote to Chipotle, and he was like, hey, Subway has Jared, who ate Subway every day. I want to try to lose weight eating Chipotle every day. And Chipotle wrote back and goes, we do not re recommend anyone eat Chipotle every day. Huh. <laughs> see, see, I actually lived in the Southwest wow. for, like, almost a decade, and I just, I can't. I mean, like, Chipotle's not d dog food or anything. It's better than, like, Taco Bell or something, but damn, it's just... It's, it, it's, it's not Mexican. It's, it's gringo. Food. It's gringo Mexican food. Yeah. It's also yes. it's the same way that, like, look, I'm a New Yorker. I love pizza by the slice. Like, I'm a huge fan of that. If I go to Chicago, I love deep dish. I just won't fucking call it pizza. It's just not the same. <laughs> it's not. If I have a craving for pizza by the slice, I'm not going to eat deep dish. But I will eat deep dish if that's what I want. It's just a different food. Yep. But what if someone comes to New York from Naples and they're like, this isn't pizza? Well, <laughs> I mean, that's. Well, I would be like, no. You're wrong. Is it? Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> I, as is, a New Yorker, you're fucking wrong. Naples is the birthplace of pizza. Yeah, but no, I'm, but New York I'm, though, I'm, Ben. It's a, it's a different like. I I don't when I'm in the mood for authentic Mexican, I don't go to Chipotle. Right. But like when I'm in the mood for you know what Chipotle is, which is brown rice and some shit on top, then I I eat that. Do you know oh, how yeah. hard it is to convince a New Yorker they got it bad? Like they they fucking celebrated Giuliani for a decade. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I that was that was something where like, but also, and I I had met Giuliani when he was a mayor. Yeah, and like he wasn't 
as bullshit crazy as he is now. Well, yeah, but yeah, he also he had a nice to, little boost. Didn't he clean up Times Square but and all that shit? people didn't like that Yeah, at first. I know. Yeah, they, they like, didn't like it. this guy. Give us our whores and our, our cocaine. <laughs> well, it was part of it like he did, but then he also, the police presence was too much. Yeah. It they was were... one of these things where like the pendulum swung. Look, I grew up in New York when you couldn't, when you could not go west of 6th Avenue. And then, like, it changed, and now, you know, 11th Avenue is safe. Like, now, the only danger is just going all the way west into the water. Like, <laughs> that's the only danger. And, I mean, I remember, I used to play Broadway Comedy Club, which is between 8th and 9th. And I remember doing a joke when I first started working there about how, like, depending on which way you come, like, because most of the tourists are brought in from 8th Avenue. And the joke was always like, oh, this place better fucking show up quickly. And... Now, like, Ninth Avenue is full of a bunch of fucking, you know, French bistros and stuff. Uh, yeah, Michael Moore is always down there eating a sandwich. Yeah, it's complete. It's completely different now. But that said, there were people who were upset that it went that it went too far. But he, but he straight up, he was not the it, like you saw interviews with him all the time. He seemed very likable. Like he had his problems with you know. Uh, like, what was it, cheating on his wife in the mayor's mansion, like, all that stuff. Yeah. But, like, uh, but for the most part, he just seemed like, whether you disagree with his politics or not, he seemed like a likable dude, and now he just seems like a fucking crazy old man all yelling on a lawn. Well, didn't he cheat on his wife with his cousin, too? Yeah, it was his cousin, and I think <laughs> it was sick at the time. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was one of these things where, like, New, it would have been a scandal in any other city, but in New York, we're like, we got shit to do. We're not too concerned with this. We're, we're the city that never sleeps, not the city that never sleeps with our cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. In Alabama, this is normal. <laughs> weapon that impacted the inner ear and then led to problems in thinking. This is huge because you has been saying this is psychogenic hysteria. This pretty much rules it out. These are physicians, an entire group of physicians that examined these patients and said this is not hysteria. This was something targeted. Getting them a lot of a lot of thinking about maybe microwaves from what I'm hearing this morning and I just listened to the news conference I don't think so I think it's something what did you hear during the news conference they didn't point to the weapon yet but it sounds like a like a handheld sonic device this is what I heard through the grapevine they think it is uh, this is bullshit like I I mean look it might also be true independently of this guy yeah but this is like hey I heard a thing from someone that it might have been uh, maybe a James Bond pen? Yeah. I tend to believe it's bullshit because it's Fox News, so it doesn't have that in favor of it. Well, he said but, it might um, be a handheld Sonic device. Does that mean that they're bringing back the Sega Game Gear? <laughs> That's all you took from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, this is you, you, you really are, Billy. You really <laughs> are. you ever play that game Skitchen on Sega? No. Oh. It's, I've never seen it anywhere else, and I would love to find... I guess I should try to like find an emulator with it or I'm something. I'm sure there's an emulator for Skitchen. I, I'm going to look it up, too. That's it. so much fun. It was basically... You were like... It was a skateboard racing game, but you had to hold on to the back of cars. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, so like the, so that's why Skitchen, you're hitching on a skateboard. Yeah. And it was great. Like you And you could like bend down and pick up weapons, and so someone else would skitch next to you, and you just smack them with a crowbar. Nice. Oh, it was a great game. Great I used game. to I used to play uh was it Road Rage or Road Rash? Road Rash. It was a biker game. They had chains and crowbars and shit too. Skitchin oh, sounds so fun. fun. That was good shit. Holmes, this is looking back over the breadcrumbs. This is trying to piece it together, Bill. But what this is groundbreaking on is it this dispels the whole idea that this is hysteria. You know, everyone said, well, everyone was affected differently. Well, guess what? You're going to be affected differently by how distant you are from the weapon. Here's now, you, uh, you could take a handheld device, walk past the embassy, Are they going to give any example on, of any weapons like this? Hold on. That exist, though? Absolutely. Uh, let me see. I, I found some other... Uh, Stories, written stories. Uh, well, actually, oh, this yeah? this looks like a local news report. U.S. diplomat in Cuba. Sinclair Station. The University of Miami. It's uh, of CBS. Uh, the first Sinclair can on own different. Or, yeah, yeah. I don't know who was uh, CBS Miami Channel Fisher Four broadcasting. We have to look that up. Uh, let me see. I mean, if this is true, this is really, cool. uh, I guess, owned, interesting. They're owned by CBS. They're uh, uh, yeah, so, owned and operated by CBS. Obviously, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, oh, their CBS station's owned by yeah. uh, owned by 
Claire and Tribune and all the other. Oh, homes. really? I didn't yeah, yeah. Idea. Like in in my hometown, most of the stations were like privately owned by by a company. Well, they're all privately That's owned, but but most of the stations were owned by like a, a broadcasting company, like a like a syndicate, basically. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did a show. I did a show for Fox Television stations, and they. I think they owned at the time. They owned eighteen markets, and all the other wow. markets were owned by other people and were affiliates. Crazy. So, like, they could put the show on whatever market they wanted in those 18, and then they'd have to sell it to the other ones. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, there was only one. That, there was an ABC station that was actually owned by ABC slash Disney that I remember in my hometown. And that, that's, that's when I realized that that happened. That, uh, that like, you know, that your local NBC station wasn't necessarily owned by Obviously NBC. Symptoms and yeah. clinical findings experienced by some diplomats. Today's event coincides with a medical... Uh, yeah, it seems to me like they're saying that, like, doctors are trying to figure out what this is, not like... Yeah. There was a dude with a sonic gun and he shot him in the face with waves. Like, that's yeah, not... Yeah, it could be oh, anything, right? Castro strikes again. Yeah, they could. Yeah. Uh, office could be under a fucking power line. Like, who it's knows? Those communists, man. It's those communists. It's Antifa. Yeah. yeah. It is. It is. Come on. Let's be yeah. honest. I learned this recently. Did you know that Antifa was short for uh, anti-fat? I thought that. I thought that's it's a little extreme. Oh shit! Oh, look at poor Billy. He's so sad right He's now. <laughs> he always wanted to join Antifa, and now he just realized yeah, he yeah. can't. They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> My whole life. They said they're. Dream. They said there was no room for me. It was a fat joke. That, you, you know what that means, right, Billy? That means you're not going to be SJW enough for some people. I don't care. Means. As an SJW, it's not about me, man. It's about everybody else. Holy shit. Whoa. Yeah, actually, you're right. I'm going to read some of the Streamlabs, the Super Chats that came through since the beginning of the show. The first one we got was from Mr. Captain Snacks. Uh, for $12.34. Wicked Steve Hofstetter is one of my... Top three favorite comedians. I'm glad he's Whoa. back on. Also, nine is nine eleven mode on. Uh, can this count for a nine eleven? I don't have any alcohol to drink, so I can't do it. I can do a bong rip or something. But uh, can, I, can I ask that person who the other two favorite comedians are, so I could kill them and be number one? <laughs> they they actually said it was Bill Cosby and uh, <laughs> and and Hillary Clinton. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jared Vogel. No. Yeah, Jared Vogel. Bill Cosby and Jared Vogel. Look, Jared definitely has some uh, some good material. He uh, Jared has a type five. <laughs> uh, that's I, great. Jared has a type five. That's fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> I was wondering if anyone was gonna pick up on that one. <laughs> I actually lost 200 pounds this year, and I ate Chipotle like four times a week. So if anybody should be a spokesperson, I'm 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 gonna it's hit true. them up. I'll be like, look it's guys, true, yeah, look, yeah, guys. you're gonna call them up, and they're gonna be like, if you did not eat Chipotle, you would have lost 250. No, I would, <laughs> but but here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing though. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have satiated my appetite if I didn't have the delicious Chipotle salads three to four times a week. Uh -huh. And so yeah, I would have gained weight. So I'm against Chipotle about. and talk and uh, I almost said Taco Bell. I, I meant to say Pokemon Go. Whatever, dude. I'm yeah. on the Pokemon Go both, Chipotle both diet. Of those. Oh yeah. By the hey, way, Chipotle Mongo. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Chipotle he Mongo. Plays, yeah, he's the, he's the only person left that plays Pokemon. Bullshit. Go. More people and, play Pokemon Go now than they did when the game came out. Really? Blow your fucking really? mind really? right there. Early, early. One of the top earning games two years in a row. Fuck oh, with me. God. Fuck with me. Who? Who? First Holy shit. Part, when that first started, I was doing a show at a, at a venue that had like a, this big picture window that I could see from stage. And I didn't know what it was yet. Like it was like the first couple days of the craze. And all and I just saw all these people outside with their cell phones just kind of like just going <laughs> like this. And I was like, what the fuck is happening outside? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No. yeah. It was terrifying. And then finally someone in the audience was just like, Oh, those are Pokemon players, and I still, it's, it's, it, that didn't help. <laughs> Here's the thing, Billy. You always complained earlier about how Ben always picks games that he's better at and has more experience with, but the only game that you know is fucking Pokemon Go. Can you name another game that you fucking play? Ben, do you want to go PvP in Pokemon Go? PvP's coming out this week. We want to do PvP for electrical shocks. There's no ben way to display that. Go. Well, there's no way to display. Pokemon. There's no way to display that on the screen. Oh, sure there is. We'll get a little. USB. Anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna read some more of this shit. Uh, <laughs> All right. Treehorn1776 
Matrix, $5. Love the videos, guys. When is Mr. Steve coming to Norfolk? Uh, I did a show. Uh, I did a show in Virginia Beach, right outside of Norfolk, uh, a couple months ago. Uh, so, by the way, and this is true for anybody. If anybody uh, is a fan and wants me to come to their city, uh, just call up your local comedy club and tell them that. And like, that's a good way to get them to get off their ass and book me. Actually, um, and I have a calendar on my website. Also, call up your local Chipotle and tell them you want Billy the Fridge to be the mascot. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Well, oh, my God. If you did a national campaign where everybody called Chipotle. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Mr. Captain Snack sent another $5, and he said, ignore the chat, Steve. The chat is hell. Uh, yeah, but it's fun to it's fun to prod people. Yeah, and every now and then someone says something nice. So. Steve's not afraid of a head. And then uh, Phil sent in $10. He said, this $10 buys me your love. Yes, it does. Yeah. Literal. I actually, it, I, you've got like two dollars left over to buy something else too. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, my, yeah. like I was eight bucks. If you would have sent in thirteen dollars, there might have been an over the pants hand job in your future. <laughs> Opening up the crazy files. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, the first clip we have tonight on the Crazy People segment is Alex Jones' epic McDonald's rant. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the weapon. Thing. <clears throat> What'd you say? I can't wait to see that. I said he's still a thing. Oh, yeah. They use. Oh, yeah, I mean, content. this is a, a, a twilight zone I'm living in, man. They got skulls and mutated cool. babies all around the McDonald's, <laughs> and it's officially their stuff. I mean, he, Anthony, can they handle... You know, you think that maybe he would reflect for a bit and be like, maybe I shouldn't say such crazy fucking shit, but uh, no, he just says even crazy, sh crazier shit the, than he ever has the way, before. The way the that only people still with him are the... That's true, yeah. At first, it was one of these things where he had, like, conspiracy theorists and also just some people who thought it was kind of comical. Mm -hmm. And like, now the people sticking with him are the fucking... You know, the tinfoilist of the tinfoilist. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a good point. That McDonald's sign in the background looks like a communist flag right now, though. Like It is. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Yeah. Mao Zedong. This, because I ain't loving it. McMao. We've been militarily targeted oh, by the globalists I ain't for a loving long, it. long, really long, funny. long time. They couldn't take us in a front. This was Jar's a sponsor for his show. Is that why he was doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Alex Jones, one hundred percent, his only sponsor. He exists. He's he's a pro wrestler without ever having to step in the ring. His entire shtick is just a pro wrestling shtick. The crazier you yeah. get, the more you rile up the the base. <clears throat> he he never has to yeah. fight because because his enemies yeah. are gay frogs and uh, pod people in political I places. Pod people. A gay frog. <laughs> I, I will. Next pod person. He did. Uh, a he reptile. Did. It's. It's. You, 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 do some research, dude. When I say pod people, I obviously mean reptile. This is on you for not understanding. Oh my god. We'll solve the right. scientific. Well, I, yeah, I'm just not woke enough, right, Billy? That's took us yeah, down. Take your sleep and kill assault and a bio assault. And they've done a really great job. And uh, what I'm telling you is the truth. It's not exaggerated. It's much worse than what I'm saying. Of course. There's no way to go to the full spectrum of this. And uh, yeah, it freaks me out. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> But see, I'm not crazy because I'm freaked out by bloated dead <laughs> DU babies and skulls with satanic lightning bolts all over their heads, uh, showing they have the mark of the beast and were struck down by oh Lucifer. Oh my god! Oh my god! How could they put this demonic mark of the beast fucking lightning bolt child? Oh my god! What is that? Holy shit! Is that a lima bean? What the fuck is that? I think that's basically like if a lima bean fucked a hard boiled egg, it would look like that. <laughs> yeah. I'd still eat it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. The ones we're showing aren't even the shocking ones. We can show the skulls, the lightning bolts, the show the arm with the pus tools all over it. I know someone who, I know someone who knows Alex Jones's ex-wife, and and she she says that he really does believe all this stuff. So maybe she's just saying that for the for the like legal yeah, battle that they're in. Legal, so she can keep her kids and her alimony in check. 
Yeah. What uh can we see what he's talking about? Oh, well, I'm hoping he shows it, right? He's they said yeah. pull up the the arm man and they got Ronald McFondle. You know, over some here. guy also came up earlier. Ronald in fact McFondle. I think he's over there right now. Oh, boy. And he was saying it was actually I hope we could use it in the video. He was saying oh, Well man, you know, I know McDonald's is bad, man. but when I see Kobe Kobe Bryant make a dunk shot and then eat a burger <laughs> What's with this little kid standing in front of my uh my my ma MAGA Ronald McMaga? What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, so this is now so this is, is this is now a stunt from Alex Jones where they make like a fake Ronald McDonald thing because obviously that's not I mean look at the M. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. This is what yeah. happens when crazy people are giving way too much money to and make their ideas a reality. Why is the why is the Pied Piper logo from Silicon Valley on that tr truck in the background? This is all types of weird right now. I know. It's, this is a lot of false flags. It makes me what think. What's next? I know. It's acceptable and it's cool. He literally said that. That person's a film, moron man. under mind control. Moron yes. under mind exactly, control. Exactly, but the sad thing is he represents. Anybody who eats McDonald's is a moron under mind control. Sends a lot of people. Did you hear when, when we were talking about that, Rex, earlier? Anthony, yeah. Anthony, hold on a second before you talk to Rex. I yes. want to get you guys to give us. I feel like this kid's about to become a SoundCloud rapper, the way the camera angle's hitting him. I know. <laughs> Yeah, like, is, he, is he about to drop the hottest freestyle of 2019? <laughs> I have no idea. Is this the kid that, uh, you know, that kid that did all that, uh, all that, uh, what, fake Twitter shit uh, against, do you know what I'm talking about? No. The guy who had the, the securities company that the phone number went to his mom. Oh, God. Uh, I, don't, I haven't heard about that. This before. sounds Jeez. so familiar, but I'm I'm, I'm drawing a blank. It was, uh, it, it was the, the guy who was like, they were trying to falsely accuse Robert Mueller of uh, of sexual assault. Oh. And it, was like, and it was like just some fucking 19-year-old kid or 20-year-old kid or whatever. And the phone number for the securities company went to his mother's cell phone. Yeah, that's wow. funny. Yeah, it was like, I, I'm like, I'm wondering if like, is this kid that same type of like, like bullshit like someone told him like hey you could be famous if you do this yeah this might be i i know a lot of kids like this that do uh little hacker stuff behind their keyboard and they get away with so much outside of house like a concentration camp with barbed wire oh. <laughs> it and, really and looks like he's about to fight somebody under their mascots that you can look like them can we see one liver. of these creatures you you fucking tease it's like a concentration <laughs> camp um, just throw in for a second first of all concentration camp I think Alex Jones might be uh, downplaying what the concentration camps looked like a bit much. Um, yeah. So, they had McDonald's! Right in the shot being like, hey, future home of this building. Like, the reason there's barbed wire, it's a fucking construction site. Right. Like, the, the amount of, like, the, the amount of crazy you have to have, the amount of, like, your synapses not connecting that you have to have to actually believe this bullshit is mind-blowing. Yeah. And there are enough people, I would say, that do actually believe it. I, I think a lot of people watch it I ironically to laugh at it, too. But yeah. absolutely. Uh, there's enough people that believe it that buy his vitamins, his weird yeah. vitamins and shit that he Anthroplex. sells. Complex. Yeah. Real, yeah. real male vitality. One of my no, friends no. got that for their birthday <laughs> as like a gag gift. Real male vitality? It stinks so bad. It reeks. It smells like pure testosterone. Uh, it smells like pure something. Like yeah. they might have slid open a testicle and squeezed it into the bottle. Dude, <laughs> guess what I discovered today? I... Wild Bill has a new intro. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, we, dude. We, he, he tried to upgrade his uh, thumbnail. Are we not going to see the actual characters he's talking about? Uh, hold on. Yeah, let's see. This is like All a 20-minute-long right. video. I just want to see some yeah, of these like Satan characters. Oh, oh, God. Come that on. looks diseased it's and riddled with acne brain, on his forehead. Dude. So and has it's like some sort of kids, to like new kids cartoon we just don't know about. I'm going to look this shit up. Or it's an, or, or it's an art campaign that McDonald's... Either. McDonald's probably hired an artist that draws cute little weird characters to do this campaign. He's probably a local I've, guy to where they're I've building. I've seen weirder shit on Nickelodeon in the 90s than yeah. this, so whatever. This is the this is just straight ridiculous. Yeah, they got the guy who did the new Thundercats cartoon to do this. Uh, clear. And yeah, no, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, what the fuck is this? And apparently, by the way, this goes back. Like, I just Googled Alex Jones McDonald's. He's had... He's had some long shit against him. There's something from 2015. Oh, really? I'm sure he started he started like feuds and has talked shit about all those major corporations. You could find him about everything. 
especially McDonald's. Oh, I see where it started. I think it started from McDonald's workers trying to get minimum, like trying to raise uh, their the minimum wage. Oh, wow. Skulls. It's skulls. Go up, because it looks like DU babies. I'm not kidding. The one on the side right there looks like a DU baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's a DU baby? The other side's a DU baby. Go around. What's a DU I mean, baby? You understand the conspiracy, folks? They psychically have a rule. This is not the average McDonald's employees, but the higher-ups, they must tell you what they're going to do to you beforehand. What? Look, that one has an eye patch on. That one has scars. It's like Frankenstein. And notice how it's almost subliminal. It's not they real obvious. Do. It's all hidden in plain view. Huh? I can't enter. They'll kill me, but there is uh, one with the eye patch up there as well. They'll kill God him. help us. God help this us. This is all around the building. I mean, let's be clear. The cartoons are taking over. This is building here. All of these. There's like hundreds of them. And notice, this is like the mass hallucination of the globalists oh, where everyone's getting ugly and fat and getting cancer and zits all over us and just <laughs> disease and just... Ah. All right, of Alex Jones is? That's a pretty common name. Like, there have got to be thousands of people named Alex Jones yeah. who, when, when they introduce themselves to somebody, they get this association. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's terrible, man. You'd probably go by the name Alexander or something you, or, or go by your works. middle name. Yeah, I'm Alexei Jones. Yeah, <laughs> hi, I'm Al. So here's uh, this show Bob's Burgers, where 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 they where they're trying to infiltrate us by 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 acting like people have have weird looking chins. It's just it's really yeah, they definitely got the transgenders pushing the transgender agenda. That's basically what he would say about Bob's Burgers because there's like it's men that do the voices of female characters in that show. Yeah. yeah. Um, here's, uh, here's Wild Bill's latest video, Wild Bill for America. Look. Oh, cute. Cute oh, Wild Bill. Is this? He's is this? a conservative YouTuber. He's been around a long time. Let's see what his title is for this episode. The Curse of Soros. The Curse of Soros, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Fortune Magazine just... Oh, wow, shit. He's look got at the new, new setup. He's got a whole new set. He oh, used to he, he used to do all of his videos like outside on the beach. Or, he, or he in a backyard like, with wind turbines blowing yeah, into the microphone. Yeah, now he's he got a fancy backdrop, Ooh, a weird light bulb. This is classy, dude. This is classy. I'm, I'm actually... Even his microphone is magazines. all American. Listen to this garbage. I'm actually afraid he's moving on up. You know what? I'm I gonna know, right? I'm gonna quit now and go work for Wild Bill, man. His 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 production is just unbelievable. I don't know. I I I don't even know why they let him record this in that IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> First, the good news: the government of Hungary kicked a George Soros University out of their country. Soros is one of the most despicable destroyers of Western civilization. Man, he is literally so a mess. George Soros is just like the Antichrist, isn't he? Even just, though he's not he, a politician. He should just come out and be like, look, I don't like the Jews. <laughs> like, he actually likes the Jews is what he said, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, Wild Bill, yeah, he's yeah. one of those like Christian Zionists, I yeah. believe. He was like, look, what, we like the Jews because the Jews were part of the Bible, and they're the chosen few. They're actually oh, better yeah, than us. yeah, that is true. I'm very, <laughs> it's pretty surprising that he would hate George Soros There's so people on there. the right that are pro... It, well, they're, like, more pro-Israel than specifically pro well, Donald Trump's pro-Israel. I mean, the, the doctrine of the evangelical stuff uh, is that the reason they like the Jews, the reason the evangelicals like the Jews... Is we, and I'm not saying individuals. I'm saying the, the doctrine of it sure. is in order for the rapture to come, the Jews have to be there to be destroyed. Oh, God. Whoa. You have to keep them alive for the rapture. Ooh. That is legit what the doctrine says. That is so sick. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, that's uh, that's got some sinister undertones if I've ever heard it before. Sure as but. fuck does. <laughs> as one of them. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of these things where it's like we need to keep them close because they need to be there in order to be punished at the rapture. So, oh my gosh, take what it's worth. Oh my, I, my mind's blown a little bit right here. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yep, uh, I like. By the way, I like the comment that my that uh, Mild Bill's lamp is powered by a potato that's plugged in under his desk. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> it looks like one of those science experiment lamps. Yeah, like the science project things from when you're in like third grade. Yeah, I remember doing that, hooking it up to a battery. 
Yeah. By the way, like I wear vests a lot on stage, but the the leather vest not doing much for your uh, straight cred. Yeah, that's like part. Yeah, uh, not with flannel. He's one of those middle-aged dudes, you know, like in his late fifties, early sixties, that rides around on a motorcycle with a bunch of other guys. You know, that's his thing. That's his little Christian biker gang that Slap he's a member of. Slap each other of. on the ass. I also, I also love. I just love the idea of like, okay, I'm gonna wear flannel. I'm gonna have a goatee. Uh, I'm gonna have a leather vest, and I'm gonna wear that half hand glove. Like it's as if he was like. <laughs> I see new style. How do I find this? Maybe if I combine the village people. <laughs> yeah. Usually he's wearing a, a cowboy hat and a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's all the different village people. I know. And he is hell-bent on wiping out faith and freedom around the world. The Hungarian Prime Minister, Viktor Orban, Prove is it. protecting his country. And along comes Fortune magazine describing the prime minister as a far-right anti-immigration guy. Far-right. That's the term that liberals use for men and women who refuse to submit to the demands of godless socialists in government. Oh. <laughs> He's like, yeah, this horrible term that they use for godless <laughs> socialists. Yeah. By the way, it's really? not like there's any actually far right people that exist in the world, right? It's all liberal straw man against conservatives, but no. I, I also, and by the way, I do not identify as a liberal. I'm a progressive. I think that there is a very big difference between the two but ideas. There is a difference. There is. But, sure. but the idea of like, I love that socialist is such like a curse said by people who have clearly never studied forms of government. Like the idea of like, Social Marxism is what they're thinking of when they say right. socialism. Yeah, the, spend a fucking week in Denmark and tell me that that's a horrible system. <laughs> like, they, it's, it's not. It's not. But they charge yeah. ten dollars a gallon for gas. That's, yeah. I don't want to pay ten dollars for gas. Well, I mean, even though if you worked there, you would have a way higher yeah. salary. Motherfucker, you could afford twenty dollars for gas. Are they really <laughs> driving around there too? I'm, I'm guessing at least in the cities they have better public transit. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, exactly. That's right. true. Yeah, it runs on time and is reliable, like a bunch of hippie c communists. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And look, how revolutionary, right? Every every system has its problems. And I'm not saying socialism is a fucking answer. I think in its pure form, it's not. But at the same time, like the idea of using it as a curse just shows that you are you do not understand forms of government. Like you've clearly never studied. Yeah, it means anyone that correct. says that we need either complete capitalism or complete socialism is full of fucking shit. It's yeah, it, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's wonderful until you uh, factor in human nature. Yep. Oh. So, exactly. That's why, I mean, communism, I, I would be all down for communism if people it works. Yeah. like they do. Yeah. Magazine said that Orban kicked out George Soros' school because it, quote, encouraged oh immigration into oh, Europe. Gross. That is a liberal lie. Hold on. Why, why are those guys breaking into the McDonald's? Because <laughs> <laughs> the McRib is only here for a week. Oh, shit. Oh. The McRib is back. The McRib. <sighs> you can't the do the McCrib keto because it's got all the sauce on it. You can't get it bunless. If you get if you get it sauceless, it looks like a fetus. It's so gross. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's so oh, gross. I, I'm learning so much. Yeah. Have you ever ha, have you ever seen the McCrib City Council meeting before? What? No. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful. We watched it on the show a long time ago. We but should bring I, it back. Yeah, since the McRib is yeah back. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back like the, the, the McRib is back. I don't know if it really is. It is, it is yeah. actually no, you, back right now. It's apropos. At least here where we live. Yeah. Yeah, it's that time of year. I saw a lady oh toss in a McRib in sauce last night when I stopped at the McDonald's to get a, a cheeseburger and use the pisser. My cheeseburger had no bun, no ketchup because I'm keto hey, boy. But it looked nasty. The little I'm fucking thing flopping sure. around in a tray of barbecue sauce. Us, please. Ah, oh, gross. That's uh, disgusting. Xanthi Pajarillo. Yeah. Um. This is my girl. Um. Hi everyone. Uh, first, oh, I want to thank um, you, know, Madam Mayor, and the council members for your time. Um, I prepared a little statement. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Santa Clarita uh, foodie community, 
And um, <laughs> uh, for, I was wondering, is there a, a Spanish translator available by any chance? <laughs> Just to not exclude the Hispanic sure. community? Oh, no. Um, no, usually we try to do that in advance. Okay. Um, so I'll just get into it. In, um, in 1982, um, a boneless uh, barbecue pork sandwich was introduced to the United States. And it was available lying. for only a limited time during the fall, which is uh, called the McCrib. But um, this year, McDonald's, they decided to give regional managers the power to decide whether to sell the McCrib at their locations. <laughs> and wrong. apparently only 55% of McDonald's franchises nationwide have chosen to sell the McCrib, which means 45% have decided to skip it, including the Santa really? Clarita area. She did and the math. Yeah, the Santa Clarita area skipped the McCrib. Yeah, and this is this oh, is a this is a matter for city council. I, it should, if anything was, this should be. Have you ever been to a city council meeting? No, but I've watched some crazy. Uh, people. Actually, I have oh, been to one. Such a joy. <laughs> so i I used to uh, I used to own a comedy club in New York, and when we were applying for our liquor license, we had to go through probably three or four of those meetings. Uh, there were community board meetings. So, because, you know, in New York City, it's too big. You, you have, like, the little, you know, sub boards. And just to see, like, there was one presentation where, like, this one guy was presenting a charter school. And, like, it seemed really nice. And it was like, yeah, we're doing this charter school in, you know, this underprivileged neighborhood. And, you know, we're seeking. It wasn't even funding. It was just, like, permission to, like, start building. Like, they had all the funding and everything. And this okay. one old white lady just stands up and just starts talking about how... How uh, and she like is trying to be res like she thinks she's being respectful because she keeps saying people of color, but then she's also saying that like they're destroying our country. And, <laughs> and, like, it's not about it's like legit. Like the guy who just presented was just this Asian dude, and he just has to fucking sit there while her counterpoint is that like America should only be white. And this is like on the agenda for the city. Wow. Oh my god. And in Spain, New York. Wow. Uh, I have I you will you will both wanna like kill yourself and also not laugh harder <laughs> than when you're out <laughs> meetings. Because it's people like this McCrib idiot. Yeah, yeah. Well she's obviously I saw, I saw a video of one not too long ago where a guy was talking to, to his local city council about legalizing happy endings yeah. at massage parlors. Yeah. Do you think she's trolling? Yeah, uh, she might be. You, you, I, I know she's trolling. It's, it's the tell is when she pronounces it McCrib. People are calling her she, McCriby. McCriby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like a like a McCriby. Oh yeah. My God, yeah. Because we uh, yeah. There, there's a girl that that we know that used to be on the internet a lot, and she had colored hair, and her name was Ryby. She was also so, a troll. Yeah. Uh oh. So yeah. 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 This girl's trolling. The way she says McCrib yeah. is the tell. This is a brilliant way for to like to get views. Like, I need to go to some city council meetings and yeah. present some shit. Let's start yeah, a consortium man. that goes to our city council meetings and fucks around until one of us pops off to make a link to each other's videos. Let's do it. Let's make sixty bucks. Yeah. Make some yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. There are um, ten McDonald's here in Santa Clarita, and none of them are selling the McCrib. Mm. And ah. specifically, the McDonald's on Shakela Lane next to In and Out. Is not selling not it, and it's been replaced lane. by an all-day breakfast, which I think is like a really poor substitute. <laughs> and she goes into this. She goes into this thing about how it, uh, her family eats the McRib on Thanksgiving, and it would make her family's Thanksgiving if the McRib came back. Uh, could, could you imagine uh, not uh, having op access to the McRib on Thanksgiving? That's a heartbreaking. I, would, I, I wouldn't this, care. I bet these days this shit could make it like a change.org. Like petition and try and get people to sign it that way, dude. It's like yeah. no one cares about your petty little fucking obsession with the McRib. It's I care. Disgusting. I care. It's gross. It's I was, disgusting. I, I, I am already. The wheels are turning about which city. What I'm going to do at a city council meeting. I know, this right? Is <laughs> amazing. Do you still get the hecklers? Uh, at comedy shows? Yeah, yeah. Every, every comedian gets them. Yeah. Like it's it's. You know, no one no one has done it on purpose because of the videos, but I have, <clears throat> if anything, I get fewer than I used to because when I do, like, my own show, 
and people like come knowing they're coming to see me. Everybody wants to see it happen, but no one wants to be it. Um, but then like the last couple of weeks, I like I went and did shows with buddies. Like my tour ended, so I did like two weekends with Josh Wolf and a weekend with Ben Gleeb. And so on those, you're more I'm more likely to get them because those people don't know who I am. They're coming to see the other guy. Yeah. And so so it's more likely that it'll happen. There was a uh, there was one guy in uh, Naples, Florida who like they were talking and I was trying to be polite. It's not my show. You know, and I say I was like, Hey, can you guys just quiet down back there? You're the furthest away from me and I can hear you the most and he just goes, I paid my money and so then I go, Well something else, so shut the fuck up, man. And uh and like he, I don't think he was expecting that to happen. Wow, yeah, yeah. So what a what a selfish dick thing to say. Like and like if it weren't Josh's show, I would have gone in him and be like, What do you think that money got you? Like when you <laughs> brought that what do you think that came with? But like, do you think it came with the ability to passively sit down and watch a show, or do you think it came with the ability to ruin it for everyone else? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You, you gotta think about the experience of everyone else there. Well, yeah, nobody absolutely. thinks about other people, right? Yeah, the That's last... why we have the thirty people showing up to the first class line when they say first class seating is open. Yeah, the last they don't, they don't uh, fuck. the last stand up show I yeah. went to it was uh, it was Tony Henchcliffe, and and he actually had to kick a heckler out. Um, yeah. And she, she complimented him on the way. She must have been wasted or something. Because she was like, all right, well, I don't like your comedy, but you are kind of attractive. And then they, like, kicked her out. Yeah. She was saying that. I yeah. went to the comedy store one night, and Tony was on. And after he got off, like, one guy came up, and the guy started talking shit to me because I was fat. He was just like, he was going in on me, and I fucking opened his ass up. And he got, he fucking, like, went outside and, like, got, threw a fit, threw a temper tantrum. It was so fucking funny. Wow. And then, Wait, the, the, yeah, comedian, yeah. Yeah, I fucked his shit up. I would like to see that tape. I, I, I don't know if it was a tape. It was like one of those nights. It was like a Tuesday night. I was in the crowd. It was at the comedy store? The comedy store, yeah. Okay. So it was, it was uh, Tony was up and he got down. I think Bobby Lee was there. Like everybody was reading off their phones or like had, they had their little notepads because they were just trying out the jokes. So it was like a Tuesday or something. And this guy yeah. like said something to me and I fucking went, went back at him. And he's like, you, you, you think you're funny? And then I was like, yeah. And I just fucking ate his ass out. And then like Sam Tripoli came on afterwards and he like mentions, I'm going to fuck with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tripoli, Tripoli, by the way, is the only I've only seen uh, I've only seen twice uh, I've seen someone throw a drink at a comic. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Both were Sam Tripoli. Oh yeah, yeah. Both. Times, yeah. Well, he, he's great. He's just so hardcore. He's done it all. Like he, they, they put him on at what midnight at the comedy store because they know oh, he can clean up. <laughs> yeah, Sam. Dude, my favorite Sam story was uh, I was in Vegas. Uh, I was in Vegas. With uh, Sirius, well, I used to host a show on Sirius, and they sent me to Vegas the weekend of the AVNs uh, because you know they figure, oh, that'll be funny content, like just yeah. stop and like interview porn stars and you know in the casinos. And I run into Tripoli, who was there because he was, I think he was doing stand up at the AVNs. And so I run into him and I was like, hey man, I'm you know I'm going around talking to people trying to get content. Um, you know, you want to come with and hang? He was like, yeah, sure. So we're going around and I'm talking to these two girls, and they're not with AVNs at all. It was like two kind of cute girls and i'm talking to one of them and i'm interviewing her about like oh is it weird there being all these porn stars here and i turn to my left and i look over and tripoli is just making out with the other girl and i was like <laughs> what? What? Yeah. i've been talking to this girl for 30 seconds how the fuck did that happen i was like and in what context were we like yeah we're journalists and he just started making out i don't i was like <laughs> i don't even know how that happened but it fucking did that's great <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's correct. So, uh, should we go get some fucking McCribs after the show? No. No? That's not keto. Unless not, you want to eat the Unless you want to eat without sauce. Ugh. Just some onions. You just, you just talked about how gross. I'd rather get some Korean barbecue or something. <laughs> I don't know how yeah, many calories I have left. I have, to, I have to starve myself before we go to Korean barbecue again. Oh, damn. Oh, yes, I got to bounce. I got a show tonight. Oh, yeah. All right, dude. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, anything you want to mention before you leave us? Yeah, uh, if anybody wants to check out the videos, check out my YouTube. It's just youtube.com slash the Hofstetter. I got a lot of videos on my Facebook also. Just Steve Hofstetter. You guys know how it's spelled because you're watching this. So I guess there's audio feed of this too, right? But I'm in the yeah. fucking show notes. Give, so yeah, pe yeah. people will figure it out. Um, and check out my book. Uh, my book, Ginger Kid, uh, top five pick on Amazon, uh, number one in its category. Um, it's a book about getting bullied a whole lot and then finding comedy as a way out. 
So uh, if anyone in your audience has ever felt like they've been bullied or they don't fit in, which I'm guessing is a good amount of people, uh, <laughs> then, uh, well, I mean, let's be real here. Uh, I, I assume you guys dealt with that too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I was, yeah, like, I was like I'm the only fucking one in the world who's been bullied. So uh, check out the book. I hope you enjoy it. And, you know, just thanks for having me on. I really appreciate yeah. it. And uh, to everyone else who's going to call me a cuck on the subreddit, I wish you the best. <laughs> give, right. give Andrew a kiss uh, from us, too. Mr. I Rivers. Will give, I will, uh, I'll, I'll give him a little, uh, a little asshole tickle for you. Yeah. Right. Easy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks I'll, again. I'll wait till he's not looking, so it's authentic. <laughs> All right. Good night. Steve. Steve Hofstetter, everybody. Oh, so. So, uh. Are we going to bring the Nazi on at some point? Yeah, we should bring him on. Uh, where is he? Is I'm, he still awake? I'm going to go take a whiz. Yeah, you take All that right. whiz. Yeah, you take that whiz, Billy. Yeah, yeah, he was talking in the chat earlier. All right, I got him. Way, I got him. I'll bring him in. All right. I want to thank Mr. Six Figs, too, for becoming the first uh, subscribe star person in the live chat. So, I don't know what's yeah. going on, but for some reason your audio is so auto-tuned sounding today. It was cutting really? you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what was going on with it. Let me see. Make sure I'm using the right microphone. That sounds... Uh, did you just change something? No. I, I noticed your, uh, your volume changes a lot, too. Like, it'll go from kind of low to, like, all of a sudden it'll be, like, way higher. Uh, maybe it's because I, I I need to talk more directly into the microphone. I think is a problem I, I have sometimes. I see. Get your ass on here, Finn. We want to talk yeah, to you. I'll get, you better I'm be in full uniform. In full uniform? No. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, pff, where the fuck is it? Are you looking for his account, or what are you looking for? Um, hold on. It's not showing me... It's not showing me the call that we're in right now. That's so weird. Really? Yeah. I'll say... I'll, I'll type something in it, and maybe it'll just, come up. Just bring him in, too. Can you bring him in? I don't... No, I don't have him on okay. Skype. Okay. All right, just type you something, then. Uh, I, t I type something. Huh, that's so weird. Hold on. Are you still there? No, I, I lost him. I'll bring him back. Oh my god, shit's going awry. I leave for three seconds. No, I couldn't, I couldn't bring Finn in and then... Uh, okay, here we go. I leave for six inches. Scabs are keto? Nasty, man. The fuck? I purchased uh, a bag of pepperoni jerky today at Walmart. Pepperoni jerky. Pepperoni jerky. It tastes like pizza. It's called Pizza in a Bag. If people from Pizza in a Bag are watching and want to sponsor, send some pizza in the bag to me because it's $4 for two ounces. And that's rather pricey. But it's worth it calorie wise. <clears throat> Adding them back now. Are the boys back in town? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're both here. I can't believe you called Steve back when he said he had a show. Oh, shit. Did I? Yeah, we got to remove Steve from the group. <laughs> I, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, dude. Actually, I removed I him from the call. I, I just feel like the Epic Mealtime guys should send me some pizza in the bag. I can't find yeah. the buffalo pizza flavor. They have like a buffalo wing flavor or something. Can't find that anywhere. They should just send me some and say, talk about it on the show, even though I already just did. Shit. Shit. Fin balls, buffalo fin balls. wings with blue cheese or ranch? I get blue cheese when I get my buffalo wings. That's the classic way. Yeah, he's a fucking fan. Oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta call you guys back. I'll be right back. Bang, oh bang. my god. Call me. Call me. Count 
on me brother when you need a friend we all need somebody to lean on lean on me hell yeah privately recording this oh yeah, snap yeah. No one will know that. Holy shit! Oh shit! We can't talk about our private, super secret business anymore. Fuck. No, we will later. We will yeah, later. We'll talk about that. Yeah. There is money involved. Yeah. Dude, I would actually smash this this girl, but she's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the McCrib girl. Crazy. She's not even crazy. Yeah, the... She's trolling. What do you mean? No, she's she's fucking insane. She I don't know if she's Look. genuine or. I know I she's tell. trolling. A girl doesn't study all these McCrib McDonald's facts and then mispronounce McCrib. <laughs> she's hitting them with an autistic precision and then she's mispronouncing McCrib on purpose. If you know anything about trolls, there's always one tell in the troll because that makes it even funnier. And this oh, her mispronunciation of, of McCrib well. puts it over the top. She does have a sense of the uh, little autismo, like Tide Pod. <laughs> What what, going what camera are you using now, Finn? Is this a new camera? No. Yeah, it looks different. It looks your, really your good from better. this angle. Yeah, the lighting or something. Yeah, you look I think it's the lighting. I I did the, made the mistake of opening the software and like fucking with the settings, thinking I knew shit, but yeah. I didn't know anything. So I just recently changed. Is it, this the same background you have in all your videos too? Yeah. Well, yeah, something crazy happened with your video because it looks Dude, superior I right now. Wizard. <laughs> I ate yeah, edibles and now. and now I'm fucking ascended. <laughs> I'm like Jesus Christ. I took Joe Without to my cross, my dad's. I took Joe to my dad's house uh, Monday night, and uh, my dad had a bunch of weed and edibles and stuff. And he he gave of Joe he, <laughs> he gave Joe like a big scoop of uh, weed butter, and Joe took it and Ooh. got messed up. He was like, "Dude, hey, I'm hungry." Okay, I'm going to do a shout out to Bernice Panders. Yeah. She uh, sent yeah. me some stuff in the mail. Did I'm she not gonna cool. qualify as in what? Did she send you a thumb drive? In a sense, a thumb drive for your brain. Ooh. Whoa, that's Ooh. great. Wait, hey, wait a minute. I don't even know what that could possibly mean, man. But that's awesome. <laughs> I know what that uh, means. I'm no scrap. Brownies and shit. But oh, they, they awesome, awesome, dude. Yeah. That's dude. That's amazing. That's awesome. And it's now legal in Michigan. Oh man, awesome. But dude. the pot that's... stores aren't gonna be like around for like a year. That's no, how it was around. Oh, really? Twenty twenty. Fuck. Yeah, but we can own twelve plants, carry two point five fucking ounces on our persons, and then twelve ounces at or ten ounces at home. Yeah. Like we need 12, 12 fucking plants, ten ounces at home, and two two and a half on their person, like. Drug dealers would do that, but, like, we don't need drug dealers anymore. I don't get the point. We voted in recreational here in Massachusetts in 2016, and we're just now getting it this year. Like these. Oh, yeah, that's right. Weeks. You guys did. Yeah, Yeah, dude, it's that's crazy. Awesome. The shops are finally open, man. It's done a lot have for our visited? economy. What's that? Have you visited, has it, have you visited like, a shop? Uh, yeah. Not yet, man. Oh, you should. Yet. What the hell? I definitely will sometime are soon. Are there any near you? Uh, yeah, there are a few near me, man. There are a few near me. I just haven't gone around to doing it yet because, like, I've got, I've had other shit to buy. Like, I need to get, like, a new desk and shit right. like that. Shit Dude, from my shelf. desk is literally from the 19, like, 90s. It's meant for, like, a DOS computer. So really? It's fucking huge. That's <laughs> crazy, man. That's but awesome. I use, a, I use, like, a 52-inch fucking uh, TV as my main monitor, so I'm kind of spoiled in that Sweet, aspect. Sweet, man. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. A recreational pot, man. We yeah, all live dude. in recreational states. Now we yeah. can like circle jerk. That's true, yeah. Recreational jerk? states of mind. Yeah, I've yeah. got. Hey guys, isn't it so great to have? It's four twenty, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, four twenty. My man, my on. dad gave me like a quarter That's ounce of weed Monday night here. too. I have a ton of weed in my car. What? Yeah, he gave me a quarter dude, ounce of strawberry banana. Why? What's gonna happen oh, yeah. if it's in my car? Give it, it to me. Wait. Is Give it, it to me. Is it a state law where if you have pot in your car, it's fine? I think is I think you can have pot like in open, your car. Is it like yeah? In Washington State, you can have pot in your car. Pretty yeah, sure you can have pants in there too. Does yeah. it have to be locked up? No, no, you just can't be smoking. Yeah, because like the whole thing about pot, oh, right, God. is that uh, it's legal. You kind of smell it if if you're using it in the right, car. I, they can smell that shit. True. I just, I mean, you can kind of smell it if it's just sitting there in the car too. But 
I, I thought it was like an open container law, like with beer and shit. Well, I, I mean, no, because I got it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a convict here. I'm a <laughs> lamb, actually. I can't disclose my my uh, location. Locked up, gon' get me out, cause I'm locked up. I don't know that song, and I'm trying to sing it. That's terrible. So, yeah. Right. No. Dancing queen. I might, I might break Ben a little piece of my dad's weed off and give him some of my dad's weed. Finn has Dude, like awesome. so much background noise. I know. I hear a bunch of fuzzies. I know what it is. Hey. And my DOS computer. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's there. Off. Yeah, there. Hey. There you go. Oh yeah, that's way better. Now we can just what have the sex. Fuck? We can have sex. And oh hear my each god. Other. Oh. Stop. Whisper sweet nothings into my earlobe, Finnegan. Finnegan. Well, <laughs> oh my god. Tomorrow Finnegan. at noon. Right Finnegan. There. Finnegan. Yeah, Finnegan. Dude, people, I actually went to high school with a Finnegan. But no, that's my. Oh, no, sexy! Let's go find the state of the boy. Oh, you're gonna love this feeling. This is gonna be a very hard time. This is going to I didn't even have it in me to talk over the. The end bomb drop. I forgot to read some of these stream labs. I'm gonna do that really All quick right, too. Good, good, good. Uh, Strong. Right looks like uh, exclusive oak five dollars. I actually own Steve. P.S. Love you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, this is my first time trying blue. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. So some guy five dollars watching Alex Jones while eating McDonald's. So deliciously evil. <laughs> Animancer's gone. He disappeared. Oh, now. Here we go. Uh, uh oh. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. This is the one I wanted to play first. The liar and the fiend tried and true wonder and you gotta make yourself into a new invention. <laughs> is this McLovin? Everything all rolled into I like his tie. Make it last like it's never gonna be done. Like, again. Uh, make it sparkle it's like a little ray of sun. Make it do like you it like you the rules. Done. So pick up your feet and walk to this point. and walk to a land so, so. So pick up your feet and walk to this beat and walk to a land so. Uh, so. So pick up your feet and walk to like this and walk to a land so 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 pick up your feet. Why does this happen this so feet. much? I'll tell you why, right? <laughs> because they it's say schools too. Why they, is that? They say that sociopaths like uh, teachers have the highest concentration of sociopaths really? for jobs. Really? Yeah, uh, and and so this this teacher doesn't care about <laughs> anything other than them fucking selves. They come in here teaching kids. They think they might change yeah. the world because they feel like they're the part. They're, they're, they can reach out and fucking help the youth, but they realize it's a broken system, and they're stuck here in front of fucking kids. No, you know what? You didn't spell your name wrong. I'm sorry. I just read it. Sorry. I'm just telling. Uh, I I. It's very small on my screen, and exclusive Sodak. What does you that know what mean? What I think it is with these teachers, though. They're trying to like relate to the kids, and they're so outdated. Clearly, in how to relate to the kids that they still think this is relevant, and they're like, "Yeah, I go on Twitter to t tweet to my I mean, workers." <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's even trying to relate to kids. I think he, uh, I think he really? thinks, I think he thinks he has a fucking talent. He thought it was cute he to write a, a fucking audience. rap. Yeah, and they, they can't do yeah. anything. They can't yeah. leave. He's like, I know what I'll do. I'll write a fun little rap, and then I'll do it in front of the kids. And every time a teacher tries to do something to excite the class, it fails. The only time, the only time a teacher's ever succeeded in exciting a class is when he was like, I'm gonna bring pot brownies into school today, and the kids are like, He's a fucking pot. Awesome. Yeah, and they get that high. Never ends well. Well, yeah, you, the you, whole, teacher, whole teacher, staff Finn, gets kicked out. Finn, check this shit out. This is crazy. What? Like, what? see, th this is the uh, the part of the shock collar, and when I turn it on electric oh mode, oh my fucking god! Uh, this this tests it. It lights up a light bulb when no. you watch. 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 See? Oh my god! How many volts and watts is that? I don't know. Is that enough to kill. I don't know. It's not gonna. It's for it's dogs. It's made for a doggy, right? It's made for a pupper. Yeah, it's a training collar, but <sighs> so. Still, but like, so how big of a dog? Well, it's, I it's, mean, it fits around my neck. 
So, so a pretty big fucking like Rottweiler or some shit. I'd say, yeah. Great Dane. So you, you have enough. Of, like, it can adjust to be really your... small too. Oh, you'd be a dickhead for putting that on a tiny dog. I wouldn't put it on any dog. I'll, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I wouldn't put it on no, a dog. Like That's not why we got Billy. it. Right? Don't put it on you, Billy. Listen, you listen, listen, listen. You hear that? that. Sounded like a little vibe, uh, like a, either a little shart or a vibe. A little vibe. Yeah. What if? What if we also get a little remote controlled vibrator and we stick them up our no, bones? No. No. What if oh. you guys also take laxatives so every time you get shocked, you shit a little bit? <laughs> and then whoever piles up the most shit at the end wins. Someone said, shock yourself on the neck. I did that. I shocked myself on the throat. Uh, uh, you won't even I, test uh, it out. I don't want to. But you're going to have to do it soon. If we get, if we get halfway to the goal, I'll, I'll fucking do a test. Okay. Oh, on on what that, strength? On what strength? I yeah. don't know, like 50? 50. So 50% 50 strength, yeah, basically. Yeah, I'll do 50. I'll do 50. Oh, shit, guys. Don't you want to see Billy get that tortured is gonna be great. more than the cringe raps are going to torture him? Come on. Yes. Fuck, dude. All right. Halfway. So how much? I mean, we're already 38%, so it wouldn't take much to get us halfway. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not being unreasonable here. I just don't want to fucking like do it. Okay, bucks, okay. Right? So if we get to 100%, will you do 100%? No, fuck no. What? 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 Why would I? Because it's 100%. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give 110 percent, Billy. You can't turn this know, up to 110 percent. Yes, you can. Walk to a land so, so. Well, maybe sweet. if you pee on him, then it would be 110 percent while he's getting electrocuted. Is, look at this square, dude. Is this guy an English teacher? Does this does this song have something he's to do with totally the English, an English lesson? Teacher or a math teacher? Or is he just yeah, or is he just performing his own song here? Is this the first time we saw a cringe rap teacher perform an original piece that wasn't school based, curriculum based? Yeah. Is, is, does he have the Seriously, balls? Dude. I'm like, I, 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 maybe he's we, just like, oh, I made the sick new rap. I should show my students. That's what I'm thinking he might me, be doing. Mr. Anderson. I, I want to hear a little Mr. more Anderson, of it. And that rap that you made was great. <laughs> I want to hear a little more of it and see if this is somehow curriculum based because I haven't it hasn't triggered yet. I haven't fingered down where it's from. Dude, I, I had a teacher like this in high school that we basically called the we all did. the we sweaty all did. guy. Yeah, we called him the sweaty guy, and he was Mine just was like this dude. of this guy kind of guy, but yeah. What? what uh? <gasps> Holy shit! I know. <clears throat> Hey, here. Hey, have you ever enjoyed something so much that you wanted to make a song about it? Come on, people. Oh, Come on, shit. people now. Smile on oh your brother. Oh, my God. All we right. $75 so... away. <laughs> don't, That's don't. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> Save oh Billy. My God. Make uh, make sure Billy's a sweet boy, not a shocking right boy. Now, like a, really shocking boy. a shocking boy. A shocking boy. I don't want to be a, a shocking shock boy. boy. I'll put him uh Let's I want see. sweet tarts, not shock tarts. <laughs> I'm a sweet oh boy. I love shock tarts. Shock tarts. tarts. <laughs> the best. Fucking love those things. Well, you're what do you think this rap so far? I'm grinding for that pursuit. Grinding for that first suit. Grinding for that first suit. Grinding for that first suit. This, uh, for that first this is so terrible. This is unbelievably. Yeah. He's grinding terrible. for that first suit. First suit. He's earning enough money to afford a first suit. It's so taking grind to for. It. I bet like you. Grains where I want to like advocate eugenics. I bet you he put out this song. Eugenics. I'm actually gonna steal this idea. I'm going to do a grinding for my fursuit remix and see if I can get enough people to send me enough money to get my sweet fucking Kung Fu Panda fursuit. Dude, oh, my it. God. Should I get my fursuit now or should I wait until I lose another 150 pounds? Yeah, uh, wait until you, you lose Don't you want to be a weight. big panda, though? Yeah, I do want to be a big panda. I'm just worried if I get this suit, then I lose more weight. What's going to happen? Uh, you'll just be like a little saggy panda. Grinding for Sag my fursuit. Okay. I think I would be cute. I want to be a panda. Give me all your cash, bro. That's I'm just made fucking million bucks right there. Oh my god! Oh my god. Grinding great. for my first suit. 
That's like Beethoven. So you like Dude, this one? No, I don't like this one. Motherfucker! Oh, oh shit! Oh! Really oh, oh dude! Okay. All right, hand me, hand me the, uh, hand me the collar and the fucking remote. All right. It's on oh fifty. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, so William, what do you have to say for you? You might so want to like put it on, like put the the back part of it on facing away from your hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, oh. Damn, Is Billy. Is he gonna shit himself? Does he have to shit? Ask hey, him Billy, if he has to no poop. putting your hair in between the, the collar. Yeah, yeah, you gotta... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the, I, that's honestly Is it good or does it need to be loosened it. a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah it's on nice and oh. tight right on the throat. No. Right on the throat. Oh, now, no. now the Y button. Oh, oh, oh. The button that's oh, no. that's like a Y. Oh, no. Did it get you? No, I haven't done it, it yet. I'm oh, just okay. scared. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's amazing, dude. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm doing it. Hold on, hold on. Wait till uh, this goes away. Yeah, wait till wait, this goes wait, away. Wait, wait. We need to make a GIF of this. So, all right, all right. All right. Come uh, on, gif, gif. All right. Do here, it. Here we Do go. It. Here we go. Here we go. Three. Three. Two. two one. One. <laughs> <Ow! laughs> it looks like you just ate a bad, like, turnip. Yeah. Like a rotten turnip. Like you just sharded, dude. So was it as... And that. <laughs> Someone make a gif of that. Someone make a gif of that. Yeah. And put, like, farting noises over Yeah, put farting noises. noises. It'll be the most juvenile thing ever, but I'll give you all the retweets you could ever ask for. Hell yeah, dude. That's how you get them. All yeah, views. man. I, I, dude, I can't wait to see that many, many times on the upcoming <laughs> private show. Sign up now in the description below. <laughs> you, should make that, you should make that a gift for one yeah. of the Streamlabs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He's like one of our signed up for. I'll, I'll be I'm bringing like, the pain. I'm gonna have to do this for an Billy, entire. Billy, just think everything is temporary. Dude, I thought Billy's camera was frozen for a second there, but then I realized that oh, he was just, just really. Sad. Yeah, he's just re regretting his life decisions, man. He's just learning he a thing. He still has it on. Why do you still have it on, dude? Yeah, why do you still have it on, Billy? Because he's are a you, sweet a boy. I'll tell you why I still have it on. Because you want to come. And no. You, the only way you can come is being electrocuted? Because uh, every time we break one of the $100 tiers, I'm going to turn oh. it up to that percentage. We hit 500, I'll turn it up to whatever it was 60% or 63% of whatever the oh, fuck it is. 500%. Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> Dude, yeah. the torturing of the refrigerator. Fuck. Did you just say refrigerator? Yeah, the, the torturing of the refrigerator. The refrigerator? A torturing of the refrigerator. My butthole's clenched. <laughs> your, butt, your butthole's all puckered. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Your like, kind of spazzing. Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel good, though? No. <laughs> no. Really? No, it doesn't feel good. I'm not a, I'm not a masochist. Put your finger in the butt and, oh, like, you, man. you'll feel yeah. like it... Put it on your balls. Thing. <laughs> How does it feel to be Look a Look at that guy boy. on the right. He doesn't even have a mask on. He looks like... Well, it's because he's I rapping, right? He he's <laughs> half you can't, you can't really rap through a yeah, first suit. Yeah, he'll suit. sound like Cool Cat. Oh my god, yeah, it is Cool Cat. Fuck. <laughs> cool right. cat, the king of the furries. I wanna, I wanna... should just embrace like his furry, his furriness, and then like yeah, the yeah. cons and stuff. They well, love him. They would love him. They do love him. Hell yeah, he would make so much money, more money than he does on his shitty movies. It's true. Why He'd do you think have an audience of people that appreciate? Yeah. That? Would you guys yeah, make uh, Brutus the Buckeye a furry? Brutus the Buckeye. You know what well, though? Uh, he's he's a nut. So that what 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 is that? He's a nut? Yeah, Brutus, the because the Buckeye is a nut. A poisonous nut that comes from a tree. Huh. So oh, Brutus yeah. the Buckeye, he can't be a furry. Huh. Um, oh, a Buckeye has to be a different kind of animal. No, yeah. he's not. No, it's not an animal. Really? It's a nut. It's not like a slang for any kind of no, animal? No, a Buckeye is a type of nut. It falls from the Buckeye tree. And this is, is, that like this is Brutus Buckeye. His head is a fucking nut. 
Hi, <laughs> hi, I'm Brutus Buckeye. What are those people that are like sexually attracted to fucking plants? Oh my God! Here's the evolution of Brutus. I had no idea oh that he, God, that yeah, originally he had no body. <laughs> Wait, what's that first evolution? I don't know yeah, what that like is. Oh my God, dude! Is that just I a like woman that. sitting on the OSU like sign? Okay, the one. one looks like a a turd. Yeah, like a, like a turd that. with a <laughs> frowny <laughs> face. <laughs> That's the evolution. When did they have that? That must oh have been God. way, way back in I the like, day. I like how he was the such church. a ragtag mascot that his final evolution still looks stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, way better than a fucking husky, I'll tell you what. <laughs> How's that well, better they, than a husky? Just oh, up. just wait. Just wait. You'll fucking see how it's better, bitch. Yeah, dude. You'll fucking see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, We, we have these uh, Siberian sled dogs, but they're not as cool as a poison nut. <laughs> hey, it falls from a spiky pod, they're too. They're not as cool as a spunky nut. <laughs> a spiky pod. Yeah, Buckeyes it fall. Sounds like a fucking alien. Yeah, Buckeye, Buckeyes fall from a spiky pod. Huskies have fangs, motherfucker. Huskies about to lose. White fang, motherfucker. Huskies about to lose. Please. But but a, a fucking lion can destroy all of those. Oh, uh, the lions are garbage. I believe they're last in their division. Yeah, a, a lion. A lion and, and, means they're the best. No, a, that doesn't. That means they're the worst. A, a lion so can't good. destroy a buckeye, though. The buckeye will poison the lion. The lion yeah, will die. it's like rock paper scissors almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the lion died. It choked on the buckeye. Yeah. If if your main goal is to make people choke, then I guess the Buckeye is the win. Yeah, that's why Michigan choked, playing against the if, Buckeyes. If your main goal is to get across the finish line, then I'd take that, the sled dog. Fuck that. Look, at, at least at least we have legal weed, man. Oh, oh shit. Oh, and the shit. Mackinac Bridge and the UP. What? You built a bridge because there's a lot of water. Whatever. Who gives a shit? <laughs> okay, and the UP. Let me just say the, and the UP. The Ohio can't legalize that, weed. The because... bridge is what connects uh, you to the to the UP. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's beautiful. It's a it's a modern marvel. It's no, it's not. Mar the modern it's, marvel. It's, you just are so biased. Oh, you're, you're a fascist. Ben is a fascist. Whoa. Brutus the Buckeye Whoa. will kid they Okay. They kick the fuck out of the Wolverines. They're gonna kick the fuck out of the Huskies. Care about the sports. Oh yeah, you only don't care about them because they suck ass. I no, because it's uh, 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 better at everything else. What? <laughs> Let's watch oh more of this God. furry rap, you sickos. Why do you act like you, this is making you cringe? You love this shit. Yeah, you, you. No, I don't. I don't. I hate the. I hate the fur suit shit. It, it's. It's weird. It's weird. See, I would what? love Are to have a fur suit. Furry? I would love to have a fur. Yeah, no, he's not secret furry. He loves the furs. He, he yeah. loves. He let him fur. I would go to Eugenics furry cons. I, I would go to furry cons in my fur suit and yiff all day. I would yiff all the hot fur <laughs> chicks. I can totally see you doing. I would. That. I wouldn't what even would care. I would be panda. I think. I think. I think I I'd be the kung fu be panda. A cuttlefish, dude. Oh, cuttlefish! Are you serious? A cuttlefish or the blobfish? Is wow. the, the cute little blobfish? Why be a cuttlefish no. when I could be a cuddle bunny? Yeah, but a blobfish. You want to just hold it and like? No, talk you to don't. It. <laughs> like if Finn, you have secrets. the weirdest fur fur fetish. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Finn's like, fuck you, man. One fuck one you. One it's my fetish. This is dumb. It's I'm, bad. This is dumb. This it's is dumb. bad. It's so bad that it makes me fantasize about furry life because the, the I, I want to get away from the rap. I'm like, you know, it'd be better. Yeah, you don't even have to fantasize. Get second life. Get second. Oh no! I don't want second life. I want to show up to a fur don't con in my it, pimped like, out panda suit, and all the fur no, girls are like, "Panda dog. daddy, come and come and eat my bamboo shoot." Dude, yeah. you don't want to larp as a hot dog and meet your bun, <laughs> your your player out there playing as a bun. Ben the you otter. Find the meet up and you'll be like, oh my god. Ben the otter, Billy the panda, and Finn the cuttlefish. I'd be a cuttlefish. That's fine. Oh, oh no. What's this? Player one, Super Mario. <laughs> this is really good, really bad. 
Did we already yeah, see this? Let's go back to the dark age where no, light shone for stuck in an arcade and bark in the shape of the video game. There's like this hundreds week, of this one mascot the thing. Wow, this is so bad. Get some aid. Let's watch you pluck out a mop speak running away. I love from how my his uh, uh, his his, his accent is purposely bad. His yeah, his his no. original language isn't English, right? He's he's, he's yeah, his English yeah. is obviously a second language, but when he does the accent of Mario, it's it's the the most pleasant sounding audible in this entire track because everybody maybe, does Mario no matter what part of the world you're from. Maybe it would be good if like someone that could speak English well, like was no. saying this and could rap well. Let me take I don't know. I haven't really been looking at the. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Right, Billy, I'm turning it up to sixty. Okay. I'm turning it up to sixty. Two. Do it, do it, do it. You don't get a free point five. Thank you, whoever that was. Yes, I thank you very it. much. Gerg or whatever. Thank All right, you it's, very on much it's on sixty-two. It's on sixty-two. Are you an alien, man? Yeah, are you, you an alien? Planet you have to dead? talk about this after stream. Yeah. DM me, dude. Yeah, let, let's get in contact. All three of us will. You we know. can coach it out. Yeah, dude. We can talk about it. All right, here That's we go. Right. Uh, oh, hold on. Do you want me to put you on full screen? Maybe, yeah. Uh, oh, hell yes. Yeah, of course. All screen. Three, two, two, one. One. <laughs> gift that shit. Gift that shit. Gift that shit. Yeah, gift that, that shit. Is the new, that Why is the new Streamlabs closed? one. Fuck Why the last one. Fuck the last one. This is the new Streamlabs gift. How many rounds of this do you want to play? Like, how many potential zaps are you willing to take? What are we at right now? That that's 500? your set. Oh no, I meant I meant during the 500? private show. Oh, private show? Yeah. Oh, we're not starting at fifty on the private show. No, no, no. I think we. I say we have ten rounds and start at ten. Ten to a hundred. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, so it's it's it goes like a hundred is the highest, not ten is the highest. A hundred is the highest, yes. Yeah, okay, it goes so from it goes, all the way down, it goes from to zero to a hundred, and zero yeah. is literally nothing. Like not it doesn't like, even do anything. Not like zero. zero through ten or something. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> that thing's meant for the fucking Great Dane, dude, or like a. It lights a, a light snark. bulb, and it's crazy when you have it on a hundred, and and you put the light bulb tester thing on it. The light bulb gets super bright. And if you hold the button, it just keeps going. Oh my god. Oh. Imagine having one of those on you as a dog. Just like, what's happening? That's why I would never do it to a dog. I I, I know, that's terrible. That's kind of like some like human slave shit. I can see like a bunch of aliens like, like in yeah, you know, dude. with shock collars. Like, yeah, it's bad human. Keep us obedient. You will suck my cock obedient. now. That's that's gonna happen to us one day, Finn. And then it's we're gonna have to. happening, dude. We're gonna have to rebel. You. Dude, you and me, we're gonna have to fucking rebel, dude. We're gonna have to do it. It'll be like uh, the new war, the the newest war of the world. So yeah, you. man. I'll be I'll be uh, Andy Dufresne. And yeah, Tom Cruise. All right, cool. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. There's three more shocks, isn't there, if we get to the goal tonight? Yeah. I don't want to do this yeah. anymore. Dude, <laughs> dude, you keep making these promises. Yeah, but yeah, here's the yeah, thing, you, right? You promise, dude. Here's the thing, right? Need... Um, I can renege any time I want. What did you renege? just say? Oh. I can renege on my promise. Renege? I cannot believe you said oh that. Oh, my God. What? What does that mean? What in what context does that mean, Billy? I can I can renege on my promise. I, 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 Who is I, one? Is if, that if, like Indian if they gift? don't, if they haven't paid the the goal by now, then I can I can always renege. It's hey, fine, Billy, Billy. As someone who is biracial, what you just said is racist. It's not racist at all for me to back out of yes, something it is because I said it was. Because I say it is. It's racist. It's not true. Racist. What is the definition of one who reneges? What what is what is the yeah. uh, someone who backs Waiting out <laughs> someone who backs out of a, a a deal? And they and they would also be known as a, a backer outer. <laughs> or take her back. <laughs> yeah, take her backer. I'm not the Indian givers racist, dude. I'm not gonna say that. Indian <laughs> givers. <laughs> <laughs> that is racist. <laughs> That is. 
<sighs> oh yeah, that's right. Billy, you should say a Native American giver, right? Nope. Yeah. You guys are being inappropriate. Be culturally like a poor, like appropriate. Aware, dude. They yeah, died for us. Yeah, for and, and our shins. Inappropriate. And our turkeys, dude. And our turkeys and our pumpkin pies, right, Finn? God, granola, I know. Pu I miss granola, pumpkin pie. Uh, Quest makes pumpkin casserole. pie bars. And I was looking all around for the pumpkin pie bars. They don't have them here anywhere I can find them. Can you order them? Yeah, off Amazon for like 25 bucks. But I was I was like, I don't, I don't want to buy a whole box. I want to just try pie. one. The pumpkin pie Quest bars. Because I eat a lot of Quest bars now that I'm on my diet. What's a Quest, Quest bar? bar? Is that like a Cliff bar or something? It's kind of like a Cliff bar. They're like four carbs for uh, a protein bar. 200 calories. Oh, okay. I never really Or net carbs. For them net carbs. Net carbs. I always hear you say Dude, that, Billy. Net, net carbs. I'm starting to get fat. You're starting to get I fat? 20, yeah, I'm, I gained 20 pounds in the last three months, Dude, I'm 180 now, and I used to weigh 160. Huh. How tall are That's you? That's good. Huh? How tall are you? 5'10". Five, five, oh, you thick boy. You should be about 180 at 5'10", right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you should be about 180. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just finally getting. Yeah, you right. get, finally eating belly. right. You're getting your sea legs. Yeah, probably eating right sea too. Legs. <laughs> your <just> sea legs. <laughs> my sea legs. So I don't oh, think it's gonna freaking, happen. I don't think we're gonna. Come, so. <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna get to 100 percent good tonight. Good. Well, at least <sighs> there's still tomorrow's show. Yeah, it's at 60. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not going to fucking wear this thing again tomorrow. You guys just got no, your, not, you guys just got your like, sneak yeah. peek, man. If you want if you want to watch this shock fest go down, it's on the private show Friday yeah, night. on the private show. Yeah, that's true. Oh. But, dude, yeah, Stereos is coming back tomorrow. Um, nice. It's going to be interesting. He's always a really fun guy. We should talk to him about Monkey Jones. I like his voice and his character. Yeah, you, dude, you need to talk to him about Monkey Jones being fucking... He, I would have said talk about it on, on this show if he wasn't coming on tomorrow. But yeah, yeah that'll be a good opportunity. <clears throat> it's crazy. Oh, maybe, you know, hopefully Monkey can come back on the show sometime. I don't know. Is that possible? Like, if he's banned from YouTube, is he banned banned? Or I, I know Keem was able to run oh, Drama wait, Alert when he was banned. Well, he, he, just can't, he just can't make another YouTube channel, right? I don't know if that necessarily means that he can't go on anyone's And I think he has a gaming right? channel that he's still uploading to. I saw him upload yeah. to his gaming channel. But, yeah, then I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be an issue. You know, it would be interesting to get his fucking story. And see what, you know, what the Yeah, that is crazy. I didn't know that. 105 pounds. That's a small person. Dude, we're starting to hear about someone being deplatformed de every week now on a certain uh, platform. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fu First, it was Alex Jones, which was like the groundbreaker. And then, yeah. like, we're feeling like like little, like, and that's, earthquakes. Yeah, that, that, that. that sets such a horrible precedent, dude. Yeah. Really. It happened no, to Milo too. Milo got deplatformed. Yeah, they... Milo, Milo was kind of the first one, actually. No, when they yeah, came yeah. for Milo, I said nothing. When they came for Alex Jones, I said nothing. When they came for Sargon of Akkad, I said nothing. When they came for me, I had nothing left to say. <gasps> oh, Ben, you're responsible for deplatforming Milo. How do you feel? Oh, not with your, how do you sleep? Oh my God, Ben, you're responsible for deplatforming everybody. Yeah, dude. How this all traces back to you, Ben. How do you it's masturbate me. knowing it's this? all you? <laughs> on a pile of money. <laughs> how do you masturbate? <laughs> you masturbate on a pile of money. Oh, I'm gonna go home, yeah. roll over on my wife, drink a six pack of Coors, cause Bud Light don't pay me. Give me a cigarette. Okay, okay, Brett Keen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you yeah, may want to make a throw. punch in the throat. Wait, I punch in the throat. I wonder if that 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 uh, Chinese store ever started carrying mac and cheese. I don't mac need to cheese. use the OBS. The buffet. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a mac and cheese. Well, Pimp Monk as oh, Brett Keen. Yeah. I think. I, I wonder what she smokes. I wonder what Dorn smokes, like cigarettes. Like Virginia Cal Slims. Virginia Slims. Probably the cheapest fucking ones that there are. Newport yeah. Menthol. Are is there a Probably generic brand of Virginia animal. Slim? <laughs> or Basics. No, dude, she smokes Basics. The West Virginia Slime? The West Virginia Slime. I've actually bought in a pack of, of those, and they're terrible. <laughs> I felt so, uh... 
I felt like I was going to go to a gay club and get rammed in, in Ram Ranch or something. When I was a kid, all like the younger kids would steal cigarettes and stuff and give them to the older kids to be cool. And they'd always have like <laughs> Virginia Slims and nobody would ever want the Virginia Slims. I took a pack from a little kid one time and uh, I, I didn't was it smoke a purse it. Pack? Is it like those little purse packs? Yeah, the little skinny you know, mom. The little skinny yeah, mom. Yeah. I didn't smoke it, but I passed it out to some girls to try and impress them, and they smoked them. And did you get your DP sucked? No. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm I thought sorry. I thought Virginia Slims were the best cigarette for hitting on girls with because it makes your, yeah. your your donger look thicker when they have a thinner cigarette in their hand. Well, also, <laughs> oh my it god, is the, it is the the cigarette of like the bar the bar fly old lady. So like maybe I have really it's... big hands, right? Yeah, yeah. they're good sized yeah. hands. Look at look at mine. Mine are skinny as shit. I, I I just I don't think it's fair that I have such big hands and my penis isn't like that much bigger. I have it's like, like a, a bigger <laughs> ribe. Yeah, I should have a thicker. I should have a thicker <laughs> ribe down there. Thicker ribe, yeah, thicker ribe. Actually, it's pretty thick, but it's it's just not. I, I want I want like I watch porn and I get jealous that I don't have one of those Thor hammers. You know. Yeah, I want a Molnir uh, swing. Ever watch Monster Cocks? No. Oh Dude, my god. Like, literally like 14, 15, 16 inch like fake penises that Fucking like fake stupid. Penises. Fucking stupid. Yeah, it's a pe- it's a penor. <laughs> what you call a penis? Billy thought at one time you could smoke bananas. In a fire. I, oh my god. I remember when I was young I told some kids they could get high nose. if they rolled up duct tape and smoked it and they yeah, tried it and they just got the headaches. The Holocaust there? Whoa. One of my family's Jewish. That's quite, the an accusation. The fire. That's quite an accusation. Yeah, can we finish the rap battle, Benjamin? It's how I flame and throw pro pro spits, bring a hell far greater than oh, no, six. It's a great gimmick race, and you get in lap. How you claim to be a fast when you're a crap on the track? I'm a bird. This is fucking terrible. You know what? Even I can't I can't do cringe rap. And I I mean we're 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 at two and a half hours, almost two out hours yeah, and forty yeah. minutes. Damn. It's a it's a show. It's been a show. We went we went overtime. Yeah. Damn. Well, we we, we had a guest that liked to talk and it was cool. Like it was a good yeah, conversation. Yeah, and then we yeah. don't really need to to really lean on the videos as much. Yeah, I enjoyed You've I enjoyed a Steve a lot guest. this time yeah, around. Yeah, right. I like I, it. I think I think it was a lot of fun talking to him, and uh, I'm 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 glad right. that he came back. And and. We're going to have a show with Modern Medusa, Mike Mozart, and Steve Hofstetter uh, in, in, at the border. They're going to be at the border. What? And they're going to trade places <laughs> with illegal immigrants. <laughs> that, was a, uh, that was a good little bit. Yeah, dude. <sighs> yeah, so everybody, uh, if you're a, a patron or you're a member of this site, we're going to the post show. Come come catch us out over there. Thank you for watching. Patrons, ten dollar plus, uh, ten dollar plus patrons, ten dollar plus subscribers on Subscriber Star. Now you also get it, and then members of the channel, yeah. you all get all this shit. And don't forget, uh, Animancer does the, uh, the the Underhaven uh, podcast on Saturdays, and Finn does war reenactments dressed up as uh-huh. Stephen Crowder. Well, he does streams now. Actually, too, actually, so that that out. group is disbanded because. Oh. The, oh, shit. the one of the co-founders decided to bring politics, like leftist politics, into it. Oh where, no! I oh know, no! I know, dude. He saw. Sorry, I, I saw man. it coming. I saw it I'm coming, sorry. and I didn't do shit, and I should have done something. See, but they I come still, like real steel reenact, like with like actual guns, but firing blanks. Awesome. But that's just on the side. Okay. I'm trying to stream a bit more on my channel. Yeah, I saw but, that. Okay. You stream now, so. That's and awesome. if you're in the uh, Arizona area, oh, yes. Steve Hofstetter says he's going to be in Arizona tomorrow night. So if you're in Arizona, go oh, check yeah, out him and Andrew Rivers. Uh, they'll be touching tips or Where something. In Arizona? I don't remember. Do he said Flagstaff or something. I might have. I might Flagstaff. Have made that up. I might have made that. That's up. like up in the mountains. Yeah, I don't think he's in Flagstaff. I don't know where the fuck he is. I mean, it is a town, <laughs> and they pro- they yeah. might have a. Well, you can just Google there. Steve Hofstetter and find his yeah, touring yeah. schedule. I'm sure. Get your tickets there. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants.
Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants.